Welcome back to the last episode of my PJs and Indie Games 2019 Holiday Special. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today I'm going to be relaxing and playing Shovel Knight for the first time. Um, and if you're just late to the party uh, in this holiday season, I've decided to play a bunch of indie games that I have long wanted to play and never had a chance to. And yes, my channel normally focuses on retro games. But I personally feel that uh, a lot of uh, indie games capture the feel of retro games. So in my mind, they're kind of like modern retro games. And there's no better example than Shovel Knight. Uh, it is a game that truly harkens back to the NES era. So I'm in my PJs today. And uh, I'm just looking forward to enjoying uh, an NES game that I never got to play. So I'm going to check all the options here. Show feats. Sure. Meverse functions. Uh, the Wii has long since, or the Wii U has long since retired its Miiverse, but whatever, we're gonna leave them on. Uh, cause what, what harm could it do? Um, relic input up and attack. Okay, I don't know what any of this is, cause again, I've never played it before. I tell you what, let's just go in and start the game. Ka-ching! So I do know a little bit about this game. Um, oh, actually, oh, I guess I did play it for like half an hour once. I lied to you guys, whatever, we're gonna start a new adventure. Uh, my name will be Jay, because today is technically a day off for me, so I don't feel like coming up with some crazy names. We're just going to be Jay, nice and boring. Playtime zero. I do not remember that 33 minutes and 43 seconds of my life are unaccounted for. I have no memory of playing this. Maybe somebody else played it? I don't know. Anyway, that is correct. Let's just go ahead and do it. So, this game uh, is inspired by old NES games, as you can see. I like how my guy's like swinging his shovel like a rock star. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. I love it. Um, of all the heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. Oh, I didn't even know there was a Shield Knight in this game. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. Oh no, are they kidnapping Shield Knight? When the Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. Oh man, look how look how sad he is. That was his mate. Knights, knights interbreed. That's how the next generation of knights come out. Spirit broken, grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. He's going to get called out of retirement by an army general, though, isn't he? Without realizing... But without champions, the land was seized by vile powers, the Enchantress, and her order of no quarter. No quarters. Is that like a dig at old arcade machines, I wonder? Now the tower is unsealed. Devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Yeah, it is. And I am the one who's going to be on that adventure. So, prepare for Shovel Knight. By the way, the graphics here, the graphics, the sound, the music. Um, from what I have read, the, the creators of this game actually intentionally limited themselves to the NES color palette and maybe some other limitations uh, of the system. So for instance, uh, back in the NES era, um, the graphics were all sort of based on these smaller sprites. And so uh, big enemies, like big bosses, had to be displayed on a plain black background because you couldn't actually display a background behind them. They actually used the background layer, I believe, typically. And the creators of this game did the same. So if this game looks like an NES game in terms of color palette and or sprites and bosses as we play, that is why it was an intentional decision. And I love it. I love it. So as you can see, this is a knight who has a shovel. He, ha he basically has like a Scrooge McDuck kind of DuckTales attack. I think it was specifically actually the original inspiration was Legend of Zelda 2. I think Link can do sort of a downward thrust like that. But uh, either way... Um, on the screen scrolls, just like in old NES games, I am digging it. Oh my god, this is this is the true, this is Jay's true Christmas present for the year, is getting to play an old NES game for the first time. Boink, oh! Okay, so we've learned something new, you can bounce on bubbles. I like it. And what is this? Uh, oh, you can like bump, what did I do, did I bump my head? Oh, you can bounce off this thing. Okay, but I can't jump up there. 
Okay, I don't know what that is. Uh, maybe it's like a checkpoint or something. That'd be my guess. Checkpoint. Oh, there's gems up here. I didn't even notice these. I like how you can jump into the life bar meter. Look at this. It's kind of cool, actually. So neat. Um, this game was kickstarted back in the day, which is kind of cool. Oh, man, the, the thing is off screen. I can't get it. This game was kickstarted back in the day, which is kind of cool because, you know, like... For every Kickstarter success story, I feel like I hear about, like, ten failures. Oh, what is this? Oh. What are we doing here? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, this is so fun. This is great. <laughs> yes. Big, giant, screen-sized boss who blinks when you attack him. That, that is my life as a, as a, a kid. It's how I, how I played video games. You just look for, for a single weak point. And you just attack it until they blink themselves to death. This is great. I 100% would have played this if it was an NES game. Um, when this game game came out, by the way, it got tons of acclaim, I seem to recall. In fact, I think it is still considered, like, one of the best, or one of the better indie games uh, that have come around in a long time. So, you know, on, on my channel, obviously, we play so many retro games. We play so many classic games. I begin many videos by saying, today we're going to pl be playing the classic blah, blah, blah. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to say that this game could be considered a... Ooh, which way do we want to go? A classic indie game. Because, you know, most of the games we're playing have been out, like, you know, at least 10, but often more realistically, like, 30 or 40 years. God, it's, it's hard to imagine how time flies, you know? Like, you play a game from, like, the 1980s. Oh, look at this. I found some secrets. You play a game from like 85, and okay, so 95 is 10 years, 2005 is 20 years, 2015 is 30 years. So it's like, it's pushing like 35 years old these days. That is insane. Uh, if we play a game from like the early 80s, we're basically playing a 40 year old video game. That is unbelievable to me as somebody who grew up in the NES era to think that there are now like 40 year old games, almost 40 year old games that I grew up with. It actually is just depressing to think of. We shouldn't be thinking about it on a, on a glorious vacation day like today. But, um... So Shovel Knight has not nearly been out for as long as those games. But nonetheless, I would... I would consider it... Oh, God. Uh, potentially a classic. Ooh, a turkey! That heals me, right? Yeah, I have full life now. Um, yeah, so I, I'd be willing to say this game is a classic indie game. I don't know what you guys think. If it, if it, if it has truly earned the status or not, but... I mean, yeah, I mean, I've heard about it for years and years and years. I always knew I would like it. I just never made the time to sit down and play. And you know what, guys? you got to make time in life for the things that you want to accomplish, be it playing random old NES-style video games or whatnot. Also, notice the waterfalls, how it's just like three or four frames of animation. I think that's another NES limitation and the develop that the developers imposed on themselves, but it comes off so beautifully. It just makes the game seem... Like like a game from a bygone era, like an NES game that you just forgot to rent back in the day. Um, and yeah, I mean, not every indie game is like this for sure, but I definitely feel like if you like retro games, um, you're not going to get too many games from like big publishers that really scratch your retro gaming itch these days. Everyone's on to like these AAA titles that make a billion dollars and everyone's logged in all the time and it's free to play and it's a thousand teenagers killing each other you know like Fortnite and stuff but i think oh god do we want to go that way or do we want to go up i guess we'll go this way because it looks more perilous um but the reality is if you want these like simple gaming experiences occasionally a, a big name developer will do something i think that will sort of uh, appease you but realistically you got to look to the indie the uh you know indie developers and again, not every indie developer is kind of trying to do this, and not everyone should. I mean, variety is a spice of life, but... I mean, who else would have made Shovel Knight but a small team of weirdos who uh, missed the NES era? Oh, God, there's a skeleton hiding in that wall. <laughs> uh, oh, and uh, we can bounce off this guy to our heart's content. Boink! So what were other inspirations of this game? I wrote this down. The Legend of Zelda 2, the Sword Thrust, was obviously the big one. Hey, look, there's a ladder there. How do we get in there? Oh, oh, yes. Secrets. I love it. Oh, man, I miss these kind of simple NES-style secrets. Give me all the gems. And a carrot, a loose carrot. I will eat it. Uh, it's uh, good for 
good dietary uh, supplement for that giant turkey I just consumed. If you want to be an adventure game hero, I think the skills to be an adventure game hero are like a lot of determination, but you also have to be able to eat food like you are one of those professional eaters who like scarfs down 50 hot dogs to like win a competition, which seems like if you win that competition, nobody wins that competition. You know what I mean? Like it's, um, oh, I, I was trying to duck there. Look, when I duck, his knees bend. Look at that. Look at that puny duck. <laughs> that is the weakest duck I've ever seen. Okay, so we can't duck in this game. But yeah, you have to be able to scarf down food like a like a madman. Because I, Adventure Game Heroes is like one bite and they're done. Alright. Oh god, he hit me with a bubble and that hurt me. Oh my god, things are getting harder now. Oh yes, woo! That was a little tense because there was a pit there. But uh, I made it through. I got it. I got us through it, guys. Okay, that... that. <laughs> Oh, I gotta love bad guys that just totally commit suicide. Um, I don't mind it. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Okay, so let's do this. And then let's do this. Boom, and that's how you get the red gem. Because if you just started bouncing, then before you know it, you can't stop, and you're like, oh no! Oh no, the red gem, it's getting away from me! See, we're, we're being completionists. We're clearing away all the dirt and dust. Yes. Kaboom! I'm starting to I'm, I'm figuring out the secrets of this game. So yeah, kind of kind of an interesting game. Like you're, you're supposed to shovel around dirt. Oh yeah, and it, so it was based on Zelda, also Ducktales. Um, it was also based on Mario Three, um, Castlevania Three, Mega Man. I mean, I think the developers for this game just loved NES games, and that again, that is okay by me. Um, frankly, I think we need more games where it's just like, you know, five guys who were like obsessed with the NES and they take their favorite NES games and they just mash it together into like a new video game. That, that, I think, I think the world would be a better place if we had that, frankly. That, that could be my Christmas present for next year. If you guys, you know, get on that, find a bunch of developers, some talented devs, um, and get them to do this for us, then I would consider that a very nice Christmas present. I would even kickstart if you find you find me a great kickstarter. Um, I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The cerulean coward. Turn back, shovel knight. There's nothing for you anymore. Stand aside, black knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the tower of fate. Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the enchantress and her invincible knights of the order of no quarter. Stand behind uh, the stand between you and the tower. But none of that matters because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. We're totally going to kick this guy's butt. Um, huh. Okay. The, you know, the the, prob the trouble with uh, Kickstarter... Oh, is this like a Mega Man X kind of fight that I can't win? Oh, I did. Oh, God. Come here. Stop running away. Boom. Okay, it looks like we can win this fight. We just got to be patient about it. Oh, yeah, I got him. Alright, you do your thing. I, I miss these, like, uh, boss fights with uh, patterns and stuff in the old NES era. Not not that modern boss fights don't have patterns, but you know what I mean. Like, just these simple, like, uh, simple pattern fights. Very satisfying. Oh, God. Ah, oh, God. Okay. I, I can't get too antsy with it or I'm going to die. I got to be very patient. Yes. Every time you laugh, that's when I get you. Just waiting for you to have a good giggle. Oh, I almost got him in the butt with my shovel. Huh! Ah, oh, damn it. All right, we'll take our time. Um, the trouble with Kickstarter, though, I find, is that it's kind of hit or miss. Like, for every successful Kickstarter game that comes out and is a masterpiece, you've got, like, 50 that totally flop. The other kick, the the only Kickstarter game that I really backed right off the start, and I had a lot of confidence that they would do it right, was the BattleTech Kickstarter, and that game turned out to be amazing. Um, one day I will play that for you guys, but it is a very slow game. I think I'll have to like live stream it or something, um, figure out some way to uh, you know play it for you guys. But it would be like a like a six hour long play. When that BattleTech game came out, I'm a huge BattleTech fan. For anyone who doesn't know, like, obviously, I've, I've played a lot of the old uh, DOS-era Battletech games. Ah, that guy wasn't so hard. 
Feat accomplished. You lived. I'm alive. Um, but yeah, so I'm a huge Battletech fan, and when they announced they were making a modern Battletech uh, tactical strategy game, I was all about it. I supported the Kickstarter right from the day I found out about it. And when the game launched, I was so excited that I literally took the entire day and the next day off, and I stayed up for 36 hours playing the game. And I haven't done that since I was, like, in my 20s, you know? Like, that was crazy. I remember playing the game and, like, oh, Shield Knight's coming back. Uh, hearing the birds chirping in the morning and realizing that it's like five in the morning that oh god I haven't slept uh, I haven't slept uh, oh god catcher we got her yeah but realizing that you haven't slept and the sun is rising that is that is a moment guys that is a moment but it was totally totally worth it totally awesome um, oh was that just a dream Hey, can we, uh... Hey, somebody put a gem in my fire. Who's burying all these gems around here? Dig them all up. I guess I was burning them for warmth in the night. Is that it? Can I dig this log? No. All right. Off we go. To grand adventures. Yes. Oh, an overworld. Yes. All right. So next we have a village. I like how I can't pass the village till I go there. All right, whatever. Let's see what's going on here. Halt, no weapons. We have enough to worry about lightly without everyone swinging swords around. I just have a shovel. Oh, haha, -ha, that's no weapon, just a shovel. You may enter then, and don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. Hey, there's horse people. The heck? Uh, cost no trouble, warrior. So cool. This is totally like Zelda 2 now. Uh, turkey and apples can restore your life. I just found this out, so I'm telling everyone. Hey, look, there's a female horse lady. You must meet that old witch in the juice bar. I think she... <laughs> the juice bar. That is totally something Nintendo would have made a game company do back in the day. Censor their game to not have alcohol and have juice bars. Make sure to press up to talk to everyone. Like, people are just, like, walking by me so fast I can't talk to anyone. Afraid I'm going to run out of health. I got to get a meal ticket. Cool. All right, let's uh, talk to the minstrel. Hold, Traveler, I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lay scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me and I shall reward you handsomely. Ooh, you have two music sheets. Magnificent. Take 500 gold for each. Sure, why not? Why is this bard rolling in cash? Why can he afford to pay $1,000 for two musical sheets? You found the rival. Black Knight has fine musical tastes. Uh, should have studied composition, but then I suppose I'd be the one with the rival. Um... He can perform music for me. All right, you know what? Uh, tell me, play me a song. Splendid, what would you like to hear? Uh, the untold glory and riches await thee. How about steal thy shovel, one fateful night, a decisive blow. I want the, didn't he say there was one about the evil knight? How about a fateful night? Ah, it changes the background music, cool. Um, you've got a pretty face. You should come visit often. She's hitting on you, Shovel Knight. Let's go into uh, the tavern here. Uh, pottage and poultry, mutton and meat. Your maximum health will increase if you eat. Bring me a meal ticket. Oh. Gotitian might have some. Now, where's that sly beast? Uh, ah, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magical health or just eat a tin can? Why not buy a meal ticket and help narrow my options? I just got a thousand bucks, so I'm gonna spend it. <laughs> I like how the meal ticket has a picture of a taco. That is my kind of meal. I'll get to work on your best recipe. I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less, so bon appetit, pardon the mess. He's rhyming. He's a, he's a master chef and rhymer. Knows how to rhyme things. Okay, did, did our life increase? No appetites? Wait, what, what happened? Oh, over here. There we go. Boom! Our life increased. I, I, I looked down for a sec. I didn't notice him put that out. And I was like, what do we do? Um, want to make more use of your relics? Of course. I can increase your maximum magic. But no relics yet. What? I can't. Uh, you have to find some relics. Down the ladder. He always has the weirdest things. Wait, what was I doing? Hmm. Absent-minded professor. Stereotype. Um, okay, we can leave. Oh, look, there's... <laughs> <laughs> it's totally like an 1800s. The child with the wheel. Spinning the wheel. That's a way to keep your kid busy. Okay, we're gonna go down the ladder first. Oh, look, 
Look at all these people. So much to learn. The Juice Maiden. Ah, new face. Dances, acolytes, witches. Welcome in here. This guy says, ooh, that's Spectre Knight. Someone could defeat him. I would bestow them my greatest treasure. All right. Good to know. Oh, woe is me. The king of nothing. Not to rule. Got my lone bar stool. King Knight sits on Pridemore's throne. That gilded goon, he'll get his soon. What's this guy say? Grandma Swamp, double double, soil and shovel. My third eye knows your useless infos. Excavatio, the number of dig piles you've dug is seven. Aram Infinosia, the amount of gold you've collected is 6,000, wow. Thanato Refutum, the number of times you've fallen in battle is zero. We're gonna keep that as low as we can this, this playthrough. Temporum Perpetua, the total time you spent is 17 minutes. Okay. Thanks for helping me, kindly witch. I'm not a witch. Okay. Oh, we're just going to bust up your little uh, cavern here, though. I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as I'm stranded here, shall we pass the time with the little game? Sure. All right, I'll conjure up some things, and you can hit them toward the target for points, okay? Okay. Oops. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. What am I trying to do? Oh, I see. Maybe the green items go to the green items? I, I don't understand exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm missing so many of these. Okay, I think I get a different number of points for hitting these different uh, things. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Oh my god. I'm missing these like crazy. Huh. Want that red one? The red one's the money one. How many points have I gotten? Oh god, oh god. Oh god, I missed them all. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ugh. How did I do 142 points? You got 142 points, good job, I guess. Take this and come back if you get bored again. Boom! Was that worth it? I have no idea. I guess I paid 100, and 100 gold and maybe I got 140 gold back? So it's like money making game in Legend of Zelda. Oh my god, a frog person. That's awesome. I know things are tough, but don't throw in the towel. Well, thanks, buddy. What is this guy? He's a singing apple. Uh, hello, fish friend. All hail, Triple King. Sure, sell me stuff. A vessel for storing mythical icors. Sure. Buy that. The Triple Chalice. A vessel for storing mythical icors, but where to find it? Okay, can I buy more stuff off of you? Sure, why not Why not spend my money on something that I don't even understand what it's used for? What could go wrong? Look at this guy. He's like some kind of like hulking out frog monster. Hey, blue guy. You wouldn't believe the merchandise I've got for you today. Shoot, I just spent all my money, too. Boundless combat potential. God damn it. Cast into a pit and wait for a bite. Okay, we'll buy the fishing rod. Damn it, I wish I didn't spend all my money. <laughs> I wanted to buy that other thing the guy's got. Okay. You live, you learn. Don't worry, we'll be back. We'll get that thing. Notice, by the way, there's a boss health meter in the top right of the screen. I wonder what that's about. Um, wow, Mr. Knight. Nice stick. Come on, let's play. Okay. Um, are you really Shovel Knight? Prove it by digging up this dirt pile. There we go. Hey, I can knock her ring. Um, incredible! You really are Shovel Knight! Hey, look at it. Who's, who's she? Phew, these buckets are heavy. Can I shovel them for you? Bink! What's this horseman have to say? Here's a secret. In Pridemore, keep going left. F left first is right. Okay. Hey, look, there's like a rat debutante or something. No, 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 no. Look at her. Look at her. I'm sorry, but you're a bit too short for me. How about this one? I'm going to marry a rat, I tell you. I remember before the Order of No Quarter when we weren't afraid to walk around like this. Okay. Did you know your fishing rod can haul up faraway bags of gems out of your reach? Aye, it's the truth. Wait, how do I use it? Ah, oh, there we go. Up and attack. Hey, look, there's a musical thing up there. Many trials away. Don't uh, despair. Each different strength for your resolve. How can I... 
Oh, I can stand on her. Oh, come over here. Why don't you? <laughs> Thanks. I uh, like I just stood on her back. All right, we got the musical sheet. That would give me 1,500 more gold, but it's not enough to really do anything. So there's Truple Pond. Um, defeat the Specter Knight. Uh, Lair of the Specter Knight. And this is Lair of King Knight. Well, let's go to this one. It's the closest to the village. And I think that king in the basement would really appreciate if I got his kingdom back for him. So armed with nothing but a trusty shovel, I will go and dig up all the gems and maybe kill a monster or two. You know, if you did get beaten to death by a shovel, like say you're a video game boss and a, and a, a hero showed up and beat you to death with, with a shovel, that would actually be a very painful way to go. Not saying like more or less painful than like a sword, you know, from like Link or something, but getting beaten to death with a shovel is no, no cakewalk. It's not, oh God, ow. Something that's enjoyable. Also getting a bunch of lava poured on you also sucks. Oh, damn. Look, there's there's magical dust coming from that pit. I guess that means that it's okay to go down there. I'm going to take it as such. No, I died. Okay. So now what happens? Okay, we don't have a set number of lives, it seems. Oh, well, there goes that bug. So I... I I think maybe those money bags will still be there and the idea is I'm supposed to like get them. I guess it's kind of like, uh, I did read this game was inspired a bit by Dark Souls. So that might sort of be the death mechanic of the game. Uh, I'm guessing if I die again though, then that money is just straight up lost. Yeah, look, there it is. Okay, so let's go here. Oh God, oh God. I'm gonna go here and here. Oh, jerk. Stop pouring lava on me. Can I bust these things? I don't think so. Okay, now the thing is I can only really get two of those. Oh, I got all three. Okay, not bad. How about this? Up and attack. And then I wheel it up. Nothing. Okay, I don't know what those sparkles are down there. Maybe I don't have the relic or whatever that I need. Oh my god, rats on helicopters? It's random. Boom, boom. Boop, 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 missed it, missed it. Look at that. Look at that. I wanna break all of these uh, like dirt piles, just to, it's a completionist in me. Don't wanna leave any any pile of dirt un, un, uh, unturned. Boom, boom. Digging up this too, look at that wizard guy. How dare you, how dare you, sir, shoot wizard, shoot fireballs at me, Just beat you with my shovel. Actually, I was actually sort of shoveling into his groin, so it was probably more painful than it looked. He took it like a champ, though. He just stood there, completely unfazed by it. I don't know what I just got there. But life! Oh, he can knock the heads off these things. These things kind of look like uh, Scrooge McDuck, like DuckTales kind of heads. Can I knock it down the hall? Nope. Oh, wait, maybe I can. No, I just knocked it up there. I wanted it to, it to come down the hall with me. Okay. Oh, this guy's smart. Oh, God. How do we beat this guy? Ah, there we go. Yes. Simple, simple patterns. The NES was all about, like, just learning the right patterns. Yes. I like, I like this guy. It's kind of cool. They're very quickly, like, moving away from just basic enemy. Like, I mean, I guess the basic enemies were, like, bugs. But there's guys that run at you now. Let's see if we bounce off him correctly. Get up here. See, and I've never played this level before. Or maybe I have. Again, there's 33 minutes of my life that are unaccounted for. God, did I play this game once and not remember it? I guess if I don't remember it, it's functionally the same as never having played it, but still. Damn. Bet there was a way to jump up there. Hmm. Maybe if I got on top of those chandeliers and just booked it. Yikes. Do I really want to do this? Guess I do. Oh my god! 
damn it, 500 gold. Lost. Recover. 300 plus 84 times three. What's 84 times three? That's 200. Oh yeah, so all the gold that I potentially lost is just waiting for me down there. Hey, but at least I got to get that thing this time. <sighs> this seems tricky. I think I just have to go for it. You just have to like, trust, oh God, that you can make it. Now what? I can like line myself up perfectly. Oh, hello. Secret door. Oh my God, a blue chest. We're going for it. Yes, give me something awesome. It's a he head. It's uh, the village, uh, in the village, or out in the field, I have all the deals. All right, sell me something. Conjure fiery blasts. Sell it to me. All right, hold up and Y. It's a wand that shoots fireballs. Watch your magic meter. Ah, cool. So you guys can't see this, but on, so I'm playing this on the Wii U and on the touchpad, I can like switch my inventory. It just shows me like an inventory and I can like click on different things. So, um, boom, I can now summon fireballs, which I think is going to work out very well for me. Line ourselves up. That is pretty cool. The rotating door thing. Okay, now we just have to like, not fall into a pit of lava. We missed two gems, but I, I think I'm just gonna let them go. It seems pretty risky to try and get them, frankly. We've come so far. I don't wanna die foolishly, all right. Boom, boom, boom. All right, fireballs seem pretty handy. They also fire instantly, which is nice. There's no like warm-up animation or anything. A carrot on a dinner serving platter. Okay, we are back up to max magic. We don't need to use it to kill this guy. Anything over here? Oh, fun stuff, I think. Let's try doing this. Hmm. Okay, so that takes me up here, let me do this. Okay, we can get all this stuff easily. Thing is, am I like skipping a section by doing this? Yeah, look, there's like a checkpoint down there. Okay, so this must be like the right way to go. Hold on, I skipped the whole room. There was some stuff to get in that room. Kill this guy. Get out of my way, punk. I'm gonna have to use more magic to get past him again, that sucks. So enemies do respawn. Oh no, oh no! I did not mean to do that. Oh my God. I might've just screwed myself from getting up that ladder again. Um, oh no, and the gems are blinking away. Oh, thank God, you can still climb it. Okay. Um, let's get that and that. All right, nothing. Whew. Wow, I almost I almost totally screwed myself there. There you go, that guy's dead. All right, we've used all of our magic. Let's see what that bought us. So we get to go up here. There better be some kind of awesome magical thing to discover. What, nothing? <laughs> you're, you're... Your presence is nothing. Okay, well I want the checkpoint and all these gems, so I guess I will come down here, huh. So going to the left, there's like really no value in it, really. I wasted a lot of magic, that's what I did. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, oh god. Okay, I'm gonna try and stand right next to him. There we go. That was a little sloppy, but he he had a full turkey inside of him. I think I cooked and roasted that griffin or whatever he was. All right, come come on, rat people. Ain't got all day. I want your gems. Oh, that gem fell down a pit. Okay, whatever. You can't win every gem. I guess it's magic or whatever I'm getting off of these things. I'm just gonna do this, and if you get killed, it's your own fault. Oh, whatever. You're dead. Huh. The rats are kind of annoying because like they come at you so slowly. I almost would prefer if they like made a bigger move to kill you. Oh, could I have bounced up them and gone up there? Shoot, I bet I could have. 
But there's a secret up there. This game is so riddled with secrets, I love it. Totally does remind me of uh, old NES games. Ha! Ah! I can get that. Oh, these guys are gonna kill each other. Or neither will kill anyone. They'll just hit a wall and die. Ugh, missed that gem. Oh, okay. Break all these things since while we're at it. And we'll break this. Oh, and there's a thing here too. Boom, look at all these gems everywhere. Oh, we missed those. I don't like how the gems disappear after a set amount of time. I mean, I don't like it in the sense of like I'm losing money because of it, but I mean, it is totally like an NES thing. Like things did not linger around forever. If you didn't get it, if you were too lazy to get something, it it didn't wait around. Those gems were not waiting for anyone. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Wait, how do you... Oh, interesting. Magical books. That, oh god, okay. Let's time this right. There we go. Okay, keep it going. Ah, you can jump on those rats. Okay, keep going. Oh my god! <laughs> my palms are a little sweaty, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, I feel like I'm not gonna break those dinner trays right now, because maybe I'll take a hit here and be nice to have the extra health. There seems to be stuff hidden behind every single one of these uh, banners. Two turkeys! What madman needs to eat two turkeys? Okay, we... We should... St I, I want to see the... Uh, okay. Standing over there is pretty safe. Okay, get over here. There we go. Not bad. I think I could stay, like, right beside him, but I haven't tested that, and I kind of don't want to take any more hits needlessly. There we go. Even though there's a full turkey waiting inside that guy. Whatever. Should be using more of my magic, too. I'm just constantly maxed out in magic. An interloper is in our midst. Be gone, our throne room knave. I'm no more an intruder than you. Aren't you? You aren't even a real king. Oh, but you're mistaken. The Enchantress saw me for fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. You're not, but a decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel Knight's justice. All right, let's magic up on this guy. Oh god, oh god. Uh... Oh god. Okay, we, we, we gotta, like, learn his patterns, clearly. Ah. Oh, we are just taking damage. Maybe I shouldn't waste magic. Okay, what's happening? What's gonna happen? These things are falling. Okay. Ow. Oh, can I just attack him? Does he just stand still? <laughs> okay, we've we've kind of damaged him a little bit. Oh, I totally got a 742 gold. Okay. Oh, they load you up on magic before this fight. Is the gold... Yes, it's still there. Okay, ow. Oh, my God. Not even hitting them. Crazy on him. He's just gonna stand there. Oh my god. Man, the, fir the first bad guy was actually like fairly easy. This guy's actually pretty tough. Oh god. Okay. But I, I feel like I'm kind of figuring out most of his moves. Ah, oh, but he still got me. Once again, got him to half health. That's okay. We must be slowly losing money. It must be the case that, like, every time you die, you can recover most of your money, but you lose most of it. Okay. Ow. Oh, God. No, 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 you dick. 
Okay, after he does his, like, double jump. Oh, God. He, he, he always seems to be able to jump on me. Okay. Ah, ha-ha! Oh, my God, he keeps hitting me. Oh, we're so close. Oh, he's so close. Ugh. Oh, yes. Oh, oh no, the gold is so far up. I'm never going to get it. You know what I'm not doing is I'm not jumping on top of him. Maybe that's what I need to do. I've like totally forgotten that that's a possibility. Oh my God. Can I even get this gold? I can't. But I can jump on him. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is so much easier. Jumping on top of him. Why did I forget that I can do this? Why did I think you couldn't do this? I was trying to fight him the stupid way. I bet there are challenges where people play this game without uh, doing any jump attacks. It's probably almost definitely a thing. Oh, this guy's done. This, is, this guy's so easy. Funny how the game totally changes. Boom! I was letting him jump on me, but I should have been the jumper, not the jumpy. Eat it. See, we can do it. To beat all these old NES games, you just needed some persistence and a bit of belief in yourself. All right, let's see what I dream about tonight. I, here's, here's my guess. Either Shield Knight is alive, or Shield Knight is the Enchantress. Like, she is evil. That's my guess. I don't know if that's true or not, but... From what I know about uh, twists and video games and stories and stuff, I would not be surprised if uh, the Enchantress was the Shield Knight that he loved. She was evil. Oh, look, the Hammer Brothers. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's like a little mini level. It's also sort of like Legend of Zelda 2, because there were sort of like the random encounters on the overworld. Boom. And of course those slimes are very Legend of Zelda too. That guy. Yes. Kill him too. Sure. Oh! <laughs> oh, he didn't hit me. That's nice of the game. Make you invincible for that part. I want to kill this dragon, because he's kind of annoying me. Come on, bud. Let's do this. Oh, he just turned into... He puffed into smoke. Cool, so sort of like a mix between the Hammer Brothers and the Legend of Zelda Overworld things. Okay, let's go see that king real fast, because I bet he will give us something awesome. Plus, we have enough money. Oh, we can sell this guy another thingy. Um, all right, so now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime. All right, you enjoy that. I have got a king to re to put back into power. Um, king Knight reigns no more. Huzzah! I can now rule Pride more. Hooray! I can't wait to greet old Plume and Beaky. They'll probably can't wait to see me. Now, is that a good thing? Is this guy going to be... Is he going to reign like, you know, a true king? Or is it? Bas did we basically put the Lannisters into power? I guess we'll find out. I don't know much about the uh, political landscape of uh, Shovel Knight and its medieval kingdom, but hopefully we didn't screw over a bunch of people. Let's see what you got. The Orb of Boundless Combat Potential. Yes. So, uh, an Orb of Boundless Combat Potential, give it a good throw. All right. That uses six magic. We'll try it out. We'll try it out. Um, I have not found a use for that fishing rod yet, though. Don't know what the purpose of that was. Clink! Oh, we can just dig this up every time. Too bad there's not gems in there. Clink! Clink! I've stolen your ring, little girl! What you gonna do about it? Nothing. You can have it back. Fine, I don't want it. We also got this pond. Maybe this is where you use the, uh... Oh my god, it's just a giant fish! I bet this fish is on our side, from the looks of it. Hello, fish! 
Can I jump on you? Damn it. <laughs> what the hell is the point of that? Do not sully our waters with your filthy body. Next time I won't be so merciful. Okay. How about this? Can I fish? Who has awakened me? Mortal, dost thou need aid? Aid me. I sense a triple chalice. I can fill it with magical ichor. That's a pronounced ichor. Choose your ichor wisely. Oh, okay. So refills all health and magic. Become invincible for 10 seconds. Absorb nearby treasure for 60 seconds. I like the idea of becoming invincible for 10 seconds. Or restoring all health and magic. Okay, let's restore all health. And can we pick another one? Because we have two. We'll also become invincible. There we go. A new initiate joins us. The ceremony shall commence. What is this? This is like the windfish almost from uh, Link's Awakening. I can't move, by the way. We're just, we're watching this, I guess. Unskippable cutscenes, I hate them, but this one I will tolerate. Because it's 8 bit and cute. But, you know, it could end at any time, really. It's it's going on for a while. <laughs> I mean, they, they went all this work getting the Cory choreography ready. They just want to show it off to someone. Uh, can I really not skip this, though? I can, like, select different inventory items. See the inventory changing? I'm, I'm on the touch screen, pressing different things. Okay. Uh, fare thee well, Shovel Knight. Return if thou hast my need. Uh, Alright. Cool. So that's kind of cool. So you can... F so those uh, chalices I bought... You can fill up and are super useful. All right, let's go ahead and fight this guy. Let's get shoveling. That is an awesome catchphrase. So this is like the the haunted house level. We should have played this on Halloween. Oh, what the what the, what did I just unleash? Oh wait, we can go like. Can I jump on it? Oh, interesting. Oh, ow! Oh, it's a frog. An electric frog. Jesus. So if we do this and this, oh yes, okay. Man, that frog is like Blanca's ancestor. There we go. That's pretty cool though. All right, get this. Half the game is about collecting the right gems, and I feel like the other half is fighting enemies. But the thing I like about these old games is like some, like some of it is like literally just running around collecting stuff, and there really isn't. You know, it's not like it's not like the gems are gonna kill you, and if you don't get them, you don't get them. But whatever. Oh man, this this whole place is just falling apart. Oh my God, there's something. Oh no! Oh, I just threw that. Hey, hold on, can we come back? Will bad guys be alive again? Yes. Okay. So we have not lost. It's gonna cost us a great amount of health to do this, but it is totally worth it. Health come and go, money is eternal. Plus we have an i thing if we really need it. Here, have your head back. <laughs> I like that you can do that. Um, let's throw a fireball. Oh my god, it sucks. Totally missed him. Are you serious? There we go. All right, so those things are semi-useful. Um, luckily, we're getting most of our magic back. Huh, oh, crap. I did it again! I was supposed to bounce off that guy to go up there. Well, is he, will he be back alive? He will. Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Will this work? No! I'll never get to go up there. It's probably the greatest secret ever. Shoot, and that breaks it. I could kill myself. Crap. All right, well, we, we skipped a secret. I'm sure it was just gems or something. Probably nothing, not that big of a deal. I mean, we could come back into this level. Oh, look at this guy. We could come back into this level after we've beaten it. And there we go. There we go. Because it's like right at the beginning of the level that I screwed up. So we could pop back into the level real quick and see about getting that secret, but... I don't know. I don't know if I really want... I don't know if it's really worth it. 
I think we just go forward in the game. We accept that life is imperfect. Mistakes happen, even to the best of us. Even to Gaming J, who typically has a perfect track record, of course. Back over here, waiting for a platform. What is this, the Middle Ages? Actually, kind of is. Ooh, dark levels, that's cool. Oh, and the frogs when they light up. Oh, cool. Oh, man. Where am I? <laughs> Interesting. wonder if you can't kill this ghost, you can only, like, sort of get it to leave you alone temporarily. Jeez. Oh, that was a pit. Okay, let's do this. Clowns? Oh, I just fell right through it. I want that red gem, though. Oh, that is a really cool part of the level. Nice that they give you a checkpoint. Oh, I got a bomb <laughs> right afterwards. Get over there, shovel all them bones. Okay. Why would this be a thing? What could possibly be over here? Oh, I just threw uh, another fireball thingy. Can I jump on this guy? No, you just you really just go right through him. But like, why are these here? Hmm. There must be so it must be that secret we missed, or some other secret maybe. Oh, hello. Oh my God. Hey, he's like the king of the skeletons. He's gonna put us down. No, the gems. The precious gems. Oh shh! Damn it. I think I know what we have to do there. We have to knock the skull off of the, uh, oh god. Knock the skull off of the platform so the platform doesn't sink. Pretty sure. Still don't know what the point of any of that is, but we're just gonna move on. See, like, when once there's two of us, then it starts to sink. Oh my god. Okay. There we go, there we go, easy. And we recovered all of our money. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. There we go, he's dead. Ow. Okay, kill him. This off of here. Whew. Interesting mechanics. They found some interesting things you could do with shovels. I'm fighting a bug and losing. <laughs> I think I took like five hits there. <laughs> okay, now we will go. Huh. 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 That's so neat. Okay, so now I want the frog on this. So we can uh, get over here. Get, get over here. Maybe I don't want the frog. He's. Proving to be too unreliable. <laughs> what I want is this, this thing. Yes, there we go. Yes. Okay, what is down there? I'm scared to just jump down, so let's try this. Anything? Nothing? Okay. Well... Oh shoot, and I can't get back out. Alright, I guess I have to go down this way. Oh, gems! Precious minerals! Uh, my guy's obsessed with jewels. This turkey! Delicious turkey! Ah. I keep killing enemies before thinking about using them to like jump up places. I'm too quick on the draw. I'm just too excited to commit murder. What I need to do is calm down. This guy though. Do this. 
Okay, here we go. You ready? Oh. <laughs> oh, and a music sheet. That's 500 bones in my pocket. I like how these ghosts kind of follow you like the ghosts in Mario, but uh, you can sort of, you know, defend against them. Oh, shoot. Defend against them fairly easily. Damn it. Oh, the checkpoint's right here. Okay, whatever. And if I don't break that ghost thing. Oh, damn it. Stupid electric frog. All right, he committed suicide. And we got our money back. Got our money back. So yeah, I guess there's no lives at all in this game. It's all just... Ow. It's all just, uh... Ooh, hello. Anything over here? It's all just money. It's all just sort of a Dark Souls-style death. Go. Uh, another ghost, eh? I wonder if there's a way to banish the ghost somehow. Get those gems. Oh, I did not. I didn't know I was gonna fall down there. Okay. Ow. There we go. Now we got this guy. You just gotta get on his head, and there's nothing he can do. Boom! Treasure. So I found a secret accidentally. Best kind of way to find a secret. That was actually the best in old video games. If you jumped and accidentally fell down a pit. But then you realize the pit actually took you to, like, a secret area. It was not a, a death area. Occasionally, I, I, I can't remember, like, which video games actually did that. But I do remember there's some video games where jumping down a particular pit actually is the way to, like, a mini game. Oof. These are really leaps of faith. You just, you have to see what, you see what you have to do, and then you just have to trust that you're going to do it correctly. Oof, this is actually tricky, too. So, am I on? I think I'm on. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is pretty nerve-wracking, actually. Oh, I hate when the platforms aren't in sequence like that. Oh, God, okay. Whew. Whew. Wish I had a lantern or something. Okay. Oh, and there, of course there's a ghost. Coming to cause me trouble. Okay. Okay. We're pretty safe here. Kill him, do that, do that. And we did it! Aw. Oh, imagine they put a pit right at the end, like a real dick move. Glad they did not. I think this is the boss. We've earned it, if it is. Okay, I have to remember that I have the power to jump on people. This is no place for the living, mortal. You shall be summoned when it is your time. And everyone has a time, as we say with your beloved shield knight. Lies! I don't believe uh, such talk from phantoms. Your very existence is a vile deception. Hee hee hee, the enchantress is just full of surprises. Um, alright. Let's kill this guy. Let's kill this boob. Um... Oink, oink, oh. wait, 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 hold on, uh, magic, magic, fireball, okay, oink, oink, ah, okay, the fireballs, when they hit him, kind of work on him, I'm like running out of them now, there we go. Oops. Let's kill these these skeletons here. Jeez. Oh, it's actually a more chaotic boss fight than it seems. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna use the Icor thing. Boink. And I'm going to use fireballs. Oh god, he keeps hitting the fireballs with his like uh, thingy. Come on! Die! Just need him to be like on a lower level here. Keeps going up high. It's kind of unfair. Guess I just need to poke him. Alright, I'm gonna get my second I-Core thing going. 
Yes. Ugh, oh, I missed him. Okay. Let's be invincible for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Where the hell is he? You jerk. Ugh, he's so close. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> I thought we were dead. Oh, we got him. Honestly, actually, if I lost that boss fight, I don't think I would have been able to do it without the potions. Oh, thank god. Thank god. All right, ooh, a treasure chest. I like the looks of that. I'm sleeping beside the treasure chest. Now, let's see what I dream about this time. Dream about her falling and me catching her. It's a same dream every time. Oh, but now there's skeletons. Interesting. Oh, and there's like a little rat people too. Oh my god, there's lots of creatures here. Jesus. Um, this seems like a battle you can't win. Are you just supposed to, like, fight it as best you can? Oh, gotcha! Alright, maybe they just, it's like you fight for a set amount of time. I probably could have cleared all those enemies if I was a bit better. Visit the gastrometer to upgrade your health. Sweet! Give me all the gems that I was burning in the night. I don't understand. There's all these, these woods behind me, but... I don't have an axe, so the best I can do is burn gems, burn precious minerals. Also, we have so much money now, we can basically buy out the town. Oh yeah. Oh my god, there's like a submarine. These are technologically sophisticated bad guys, the forest of phasing. Okay, let's start here. We should go and see if anyone has anything new to sell. If so, we will... Uh sell them everything or buy everything I mean all right Let's see what the goat man has to say why not buy a meal ticket yes oh yeah easy 4500 gold I will buy it and two meal tickets I wonder what he's gonna cook me for two meal tickets one got me what a taco or something oh no it just stew yeah, there we go. Stew and a turkey. Um, oh, she might be able to help me with something now. Oh, yeah. Maximum magic. Increase that, please. Um, okay, hold on. We, we could keep spending all our money. My money actually went much faster than I thought it would. Let's uh, see what these guys have to say first. What do you got to sell me, bud? You've never heard of the Triple King? Half trout and half apple, pronounced mouthful. He's one of the forest gods. Oh yeah, I've already met him. Okay, and this guy has escaped from all harm briefly. Phase locket. Yeah, I, I want all the like abilities and stuff. I want to play around with these things. Can even walk on spikes. Okay. So it sort of probably makes me, like, phase out of reality or something. Um, are any of these people happy that I killed the death guy? She is. She's dancing. <laughs> All right. I totally skipped her dialogue by accident, but... Sure. I like how the, the girl beside me is waving her handkerchief. She's like, yeah, you go, girl. You dance on the bar. Yeah! Kitching! Ooh, a musical sheet. That actually does help a bit. Thanks. Okay, there's my stats for everything I've done. Let's try and earn a little bit of money here. Because I think we could buy a bit more magic, and that would be pretty handy. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Ten... I think I'm getting better at hitting these things. Oh, shoot. Ten. I miss as soon as I say I'm getting better. Oh my god, I'm missing a... 
Actually, we've only missed two so far. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Oh no, the red one! The red ones are the money shots. They like hit everything. Although that one just like missed everything. Oh, I hit get the red one, damn it. There we go. 150? 150 points? Well, color me impressed. Ooh, and I got another musical sheet. That will definitely help. So I did go up by like 200 gold by doing that, so. That is Money Making Game from Legend of Zelda right there. Let's go sell our musical sheets and then upgrade our magic. Get all beefed out for the next fight. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, what kind of music can he sing for us now? Oh, I was going to say, like, we've collected almost all the cheats, but it's like, oh no, there's pages and pages of these. Oh my god, we've got, like, some really far ones. Somehow. 46 sheets. 46 times 500. That's 23,000. Hey, look at this fighter woman. Uh, Lady Knight. Hey, I remember you. Where's that Red Knight used to hang out with? Oh, geez, thanks. She's dead. Thanks for bringing that up. Um, but 45 sheets of 500 sheets, that's like $23,000. Things are going to get expensive in this game if you have, a, you know, uh, access to that kind of cash. Anyway, we have a lot more magic. We have more health. You know, I did not even see if this guy would sell me another meal ticket. Shoot, he would have. But I don't have enough money. So I need 6,000 gold. Having more life is definitely going to be key to winning this game. This gives me nothing, but it's fun to dig. And this causes her back pain. Makes it fun. <laughs> and look at this kid. I'm the fastest. No one can outrun me. Kid. Like, are you joking? There's literally ladies walking past you faster than you're running. <laughs> Talk to this lady with the, ba the basket. Our old village is overrun with the undead. The Specter Knight. We barely made it out in time. Don't worry, I took care of him. He's not spectering nobody no more. All right, let's go get uh, charged up here. Um, dance? <laughs> no, just aid me. I sense a triple chalice. I can refill it. Choose wisely. Okay, I liked being able to go to full health and magic. And I did like the invincibility. Absorbing treasures doesn't matter, because, like, I don't feel like I'm low on cash or that uh, I'm not getting enough money on the levels, so. Absorbing the treasure is just kind of a waste. All right, let's see. The Forest of Phasing. What is this? Hello. Yikes, spikes. If only I could phase to a way to safety, I could cross and get so much treasure. Oh. You don't say. Easy. Is there any more? Is that it? Oh, we have to keep phasing, eh? Okay, I should have broken that after I phased. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, I guess you have to move your butt when you phase. Okay, we didn't lose all that much. Worst of phasing. You only have like three seconds. I would have thought the invincibility thing would uh, would cover the uh, going through spikes. But I guess not. Boom. And you really hear that phasing thing like running out of time as you uh, as you run. Oh my god. Okay, that kind of worked. Ah, that kind of worked as well. Okay, here we go. Oh, ho. <laughs> gotta go quick. Oh, damn it. Damn it. This is actually kind of hard. Recover. Oh, okay, do it again. This is good practice, though, because I'm sure I'm going to need to be able to phase. It just does not last long enough. Okay, one, two. You have like three seconds, max. Ah! 
Oh, maybe I could just phase through these guys. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do that. Okay. One. Two. Oh, that was close. I'm just gonna keep on phasing. Kill that guy. No need to phase through him. Okay. Just gonna choose to phase here. A lazy man's way through. Okay. There we go. Boom. And I think I got the hang of it. Ooh, we got a musical sheet, too. Okay, we got like, what, a thousand bucks in a musical sheet? Not bad. Ooh, look, gems. Give me gems. Oh, an auto scroll level. Cool. This is like the uh, coin, coin ship area in Mario 3. Oink. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, go. The thing with the auto scroll levels is you don't want the screen to get too far ahead, but also you don't want it to get too far behind either. Gah. Go down. That's where all the money is. Go, 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 get it. Okay, and then what do we want to do? Up, up and down. Ugh. Oh shoot, I phased. I meant to break that. Ugh, okay, whatever. We did pretty good. I wanted to get into that like top level there. Could have broken a couple more of those things. I'm sure those things are worth something. Huh, huh. Can't get them though. All right, pretty good. I didn't know what to expect, so. Um, all right, so next... Oh, there's another village there. The Treasure Knight. Oh, there's also Knuckles Quarry. We don't really need more money at the moment, so I'm not like in a rush, the Mole Knight. The Treasure Knight. You know, if we defeat this, we can get into the uh, village. Let's do the Plague Knight. Let's see what we got. Get digging. I like let's get shoveling better. Let's also switch to our wand just in case. Okay, oh God, oh God. Oh, I see, so wherever you stand, ow. Maybe the phasing thing would have been handy there. You can just sort of keep doing that and avoid damage. Oh, those things just disappear. Interesting. So it can't be the case, oh, you just have to sort of continually jump, that's the thing. I was gonna say, it can't be the case that there's there's no way to avoid damage without magic. It's just, you have to just constantly jump. Okay, we got this. Learning some new mechanics. Good thing we have an extra large life meter to see us through that learning curve, the hump period. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, those rats explode when they die. I don't know what those rats have been eating. It's like the rats from Stranger Things are eating like explosive nitrates and stuff. Ow. Oh my god. This this is Plague Knight. This is explosive night level. We're, we're about to die, actually. Hmm. I don't have to be destroying these dirt piles. This bombing rat, this bombing raven does it for me. Okay. Go! Go jump! <laughs> Woof! We are so low on life. Oh god, and getting a carrot actually cost me life. What is that magic sparkle down there? I really want to know. I swear it must be treasure. Okay, hold on. We, we're gonna give this a shot. Must be... Nothing, eh? I have not found a use for this, uh, for this, uh, fishing rod since we got it. I'm gonna go ahead and kill him. What, the rats are immune to explosions? Let's just avoid fighting him. Ah, checkpoint, all right, we're, we're good. 
See, r once you get the checkpoint, maybe you should just die. Because maybe you lose like 100 gold or something, but the money that you need is going to be right there. Like, the, the money you've lost is literally right there. Oh, God. Friggin' rat. Oh, there was a full turkey there anyway, so... Dying in front of a checkpoint isn't as smart as it seems, because it's sort of like... You could do that. Or you could just get the health and not die. By the way, didn't I say that I wanted to do this with as few deaths as possible? And hasn't that basically just been thrown right out the window now? Oh, there we go. Woo! Give me that sweet treasure, that sweet musical notes. Okay. These like little golden areas that shoot fire are actually the scariest part, the scariest thing I've encountered so far. They're very unforgiving. Oh god, you shit, you jerk. Ow, ow. I need to be using more magic, I think. I think that's what I need to be doing. So, okay, I have the, like, phasing out thing. I should just start using that liberally. What are these? Okay, I don't know what that thing was. Kind of monster who wanted to eat my soul, no doubt. Uh, ow! Oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> I saw that there, too. I saw that there were spikes. It's kind of jumped incorrectly. Okay, we missed a gold thing. That's okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, the, the potions and stuff went into the thingy. Okay, there we go. I just phase here. Oh, it runs out so fast. All right, that got me through. <laughs> I, I probably could have got through normally, but it's just like, why take the chance? Oh, shoot, I should have used those guys to go up there and get treasure. I'm getting too scared. This level is actually quite challenging. The challenge in Shovel Knight is beginning to show. Oh, God. Oh, God. Have mercy, creature. Oh. My reluctance to use magic is really starting to hurt me. I could have fireballed that, that thing. Ha! 200 gold in the bank. Hey, you can jump on this thing? Oh my god! You can break those? Oh, but they might not act as checkpoints if you do that. Oh, shoot. I probably would have preferred a checkpoint. Although, I don't know, I'm doing okay. Hmm. Oh, maybe they still will act as checkpoints. Who knows? Oh, God. Now what? Oh, okay. That, I guess. Ow. Oh, God. Almost fell in the pit. Let's stay here. Stay hidden. You sure, blow that up. See if I care. Blow that up. I like how we're in like a mad science lab in like the Middle Ages. Jump, jump, jump. Ah, they're just teasing me with that musical sheet. Please break. Oh, there's stuff in here. They're giving you so many magical vials. Hmm. Oh, hello, turkey. That's what I really want. All right, we made it to the other checkpoint. Let's not break this one, because we may actually need it. <laughs> Phase here. And I don't know what's happening. Oh, he's turning into a beast. Phase again. Bonk, bonk. Oh, we can't keep up with them. I like these big, easy bosses. Not too much going on with this guy. Are we supposed to, like, juggle these potions onto him or something? Come on, beastie. That beast looks so cool, but he kind of sucks as a, a bad guy. <laughs> oh, God, but he is hurting me. Eh. 
There we go, we killed him. I was wondering if I was supposed to, like, be knocking his potions at him, and by not doing that, I was not actually hurting him, but no. Checkpoint! I feel like we could break that one, because, like, if we go back to fighting that boss guy, that's okay, I think. We beat him pretty easily. He didn't really put up too much of a fight. It is kind of like a risk-reward thing, because I'm guessing if you die, and then you go back to a checkpoint, and then you die before you get to the point where you died, whatever money you would have had there is, like, truly lost. Oh, God. These guys are getting trickier. Ow. They're jumping on me now. All right. So I guess the green guys, you really don't have to try and jump on them. They do all the work for you. Your bunny man. Nightmarish bunny lord. Oh god, ow. Okay, I think I know what to do here. Ow. Okay, I, I, I definitely know what to do here. It's called, uh, cheap out with magic. Because <laughs> that is crazy. Oh! <sighs> Him and an apple. Sweet nectar of the gods. There we go. Ow. Oh, God. Whew. Get to the checkpoint. Oh my god, it's the ghost of Shovel Knight. We're not we're definitely not breaking that checkpoint because Oh my god, look at them all. This level is, the difficulty in this game is actually spiked up quite a bit. I feel like I was going through this fairly easily. And now, there we go. Now things are getting real. Ooh, hello. They were guarding secret treasure. You know, if you do have valuables, do you guys know anyone who have actually buried their valuables, like in their backyard or something? That's like sort of the like, cartoon sort of stereotype kind of joke thing, like, you know, burying gold in the backyard. Oh, jeez. I don't know anyone who's actually done it, though. But I guess, you know, like, Ron Swanson did it in, like, Parks and Rec. Oh, my God, this actually looks very hard. Okay. Amazing. And we made it. Don't that guy. Oh, God. Amazing. There we go. With the help of a little bit of magic. I can survive anything. What is that sparkle? I see it. Every time I see it. It can't be nothing. It is nothing. God damn it. Really bothers me. There's totally something there. We just don't have the item yet. Alright. I have like one life thing left. I pretty much should just kill myself. I'm pretty much going to die right away. Okay. He, leave me alone. Show yourself, Plague Knight. Your trickery will not stop me. Trickery, he, the fruits of my research are no mere trick. Kaboom. That mask he's wearing, by the way, the, like, long-beaked mask, that is something that doctors actually wore in the medi medieval ages, I think, because they thought that diseases were spread through smells, and so you'd have, like, a really long beak, and... You'd smell through that, and somehow that was supposed to protect you. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense, but it was the Middle Ages. What do you want? Uh, I promise he will be enlightening. He's going to kill me in one hit. So, okay, let's just see what he does. Kind of jumps around and throws vials. Okay. This guy seems easier already than the last boss, but, I mean, it looks like he's going to start spawning things. Yeah, look, I destroyed those checkpoints. Interesting. So what kind of magic do we want against this guy? I think the phasing is probably the best. Like, three seconds of invincibility. And <laughs> I already got one of the money sacks. There we go, we got him. Let's uh, go ahead and use our invincibility. 
I should be jumping on him. That's, that's what I, I learned last time. I was not jumping on the boss nearly enough. Come on, buddy. Keep using the phasing. I'll eat this guy. This guy's nothing. We also have like potions and stuff that we, we could be using. Ugh. Just gotta like pay attention to my life so I don't accidentally die. Um, in fact, speaking of which, let's go ahead and use that. There we go. Oh, he escaped his final blow. Boom! Not too hard. Only had to use one of the i -Cores. I like how the i are free. I mean, we had to buy the chalice, but it's a free top-up of health and stuff. That guy was easier than the death guy. The death guy was actually a lot harder. But the death guy's level was a little easier. That plague level was actually, like, really tricky. Okay, and... Take these up. As per usual, and off we go. Kaboom! Ooh. Okay, I don't want to do the Hammer Brother guy yet. The Armor Outpost. Let's check it out. Hello! Our scouts saw you approach. Uh, and we know of your quest. This is the Armor Outpost. The brave are, are holed up deep in enemy territory. Dangerous. Get equipped. Cool. Hmm, how do I get up there, I wonder? Huh. No. There must be a way to get over there. Uh, I'm so grumpy, just not in a good mood. I wish someone could cheer me up. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Um, why would they just leave the catapult unattended? The operator is out to launch. Wah wah. That King Knight, he's so regal. Such a refined fashion sense. But honestly, I'd rather be your queen. Oh, Looks like we got ourselves a date finally, guys. Wait, can I bounce off anyone and get up here? No. I want that musical sheep, but... Okay, I guess it's not in the cards yet. Let's see what's up here. This looked to be like armor. Hello, dudes. Uh, this be Ariel Anvil. Need an armor upgrade? If you need something forged, I'm your fella. Har har. Uh, drop half as much gold when you fall in battle. Oh, interesting. Sacrifice some protection for higher magic limit and harvest magic from defeated foes. Form two consecutive shovel drops to unleash a powerful charge slash. Hmm. Heavily plated, keep your footing when struck by enemies, but stopping may be a problem. Flashy, acrobatic, and useless. Interesting. I mean, that's like just basic, drop half as much gold, but we're not losing gold yet. Sacrifice some protection for higher magical limit. I don't want that. From two consecutive shovel drops to unleash powerful charge slash. I mean, that might be good, actually. Let's see what else there is to buy before we really, really commit to something. That's a nice shovel blade you have there, lad, but I can improve it. Uh, here we go. Hold your attack to unleash a powerful charge shot. Dig up a whole pile in one mighty motion or slash to spark the ground when you're at full health. Hmm. Charge shot or sparking the ground also sound cool. Man, do these have things too? Horns, the finest instruments. Okay, what's this chicken man saying? Airship enthusiast, I do say so. Why, I haven't seen such decadent airships since I sold mine, ha! Huh? Okay, oh, here we go, and that's how you get up there. Let's say you get the musical sheet. Okay, so we have some options with weapons and armor. Let's just see what else is going on in town here. And let's marry this woman. Okay, she's into us. She looks quite attractive, I think. We could do worse. But I guess my guy's not into it. Um, my greatest passion, nothing I enjoy more than the crisp map of a well-tailored well -tailored brim. Thank you. Uh, you guys have a hat for me? Look at this peacock lady. My vast riches, I could buy this whole store, but I forgot my wallet. Um, could you pay my part with a paltry thousand gold? All right, let's do it. 
Wow, thanks. I can't believe that worked. Okay, we just got scammed. <laughs> That's how suckers are born, guys. I buy one, but only the best. Um, I'm only out of a thousand gold. Whatever. We're buying Excelsior! We're buying stuff for everyone. Why not? So charming brute brooch. If only I had the means to afford it. All I need is a mere thousand. Why not? Hooray! Just what I needed. Thank you, hero. Feet accomplished. Nice hat. Ah, my precious hats. That's a lovely helmet. So lovely. So lovely. I must inquire, sir, about your curious collection. Travel land far and wide. I do. Searching, learning, teaching. Uh, each one I wear grants new powers. And your hats look powerful indeed. I'm rather attached to my helmet. Yes, yes. About that. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh. Boss fight. Of some kind. Oh, totally is. And I'm not equipped for this. I, uh... Oh my god. Can I bounce on this guy? There we go. Oh my god, I'm not equipped for this. I was not ready. I was not expecting to have to fight this well-dressed villain. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I need to be using my abilities here. And also jumping on his head more. Phasing in and out of reality. He's fighting a specter. Ah, we got him. <laughs> I would have felt more comfortable with an Icor of health, but I guess we didn't really need it. Oh, look at all that money we got. Totally worth it. Enough, enough. I know what I came over, came over me. Hungry for hats, took control. Your beautiful hat. It's a helmet. Righto, I knew that. Wear it in good health for now. Um, right, well, off I go then. Okay, so. That was just like a random encounter to... Earn a bit of money, I guess. Mini boss fight, interesting. Um, oh look, he's standing up there. I kinda wanna talk to him and see what he's saying now. Let's go back up to the airship. And we also have to make a decision. So I like the idea of being able to slash a spark in the ground when you're at full health. It's very Legend of Zelda-y. Um, digging up in a mighty when a single stroke is irrelevant to me. Holding your attack to unleash a powerful slash. That could be cool. I mean, I guess I could get both. The other thing is, this guy, the only thing I was interested in was to do a charge slash. Hmm. <laughs> well, we don't have to buy everything today. Maybe we'll do an armor and a weapon. But let's just... Uh, Talk to this guy. Oh, bother, you found me. I'm so embarrassed. I promise I'll pest you no longer. Here's some gold for all that trouble. Hey, you gave us even more gold. 13,000. Very handy. Let's find him again. Maybe he'll give us more money. All right, let's do the full health shot thingy. Let's do this. Yes. Chink, ka chink, ka chink. And. What was the other thing? When you're at f when you do for two consecutive shovel drops to unleash a powerful charge slash. Uh, we could go back to the other town though and buy like meal tickets and stuff. Let's not get all of our special abilities right away. I I think I've changed my mind. Um. Oh look, and there's guys waiting to mug us right outside. All right, let's fight these guys. I like how it gives you full health between levels. North from Pridemoor, west at the fork. Oh bother, I must have passed it already. Well met, traveler. Ooh, maybe you can help me. I think I got lost. I was trying to, wait a second, you're the knight with a shovel. Indeed, I am the knight with a shovel who has been menacing the village. I, I assure you I have done no such you are going to use that shovel to bury innocent people. Your reign of terror ends here. Hey, we found another, another hero. Only he wants, he thinks we're the bad guy. Well, joke's on you, buddy. You can't hit what you can't see. As long as I phase in and out of reality repeatedly. You, oh my God, this guy's so easy. Boink. Okay, continue, continue using our special abilities. So I take damage from this pipsqueak. I was just on my way to refill my eye cores. I have no coral with you, sir. Oh, he can't get through that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh 
Oh my god, he might actually kill us. We're gonna use our invincibility icor. Ten seconds of invulnerability. Let's put it to good use. Boom, boom. Oh, come on. Just die already. Just die. Oh my god. No. Don't go down like this. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Thought he was gonna summon those fireballs around him again. In which case, he would have kicked my butt. 1,500 gold. I'm taking your money. Do your worst, villain. Strike me down. I'm no villain. We're fighting a common enemy. W we are? Why didn't you say so? Now I feel like such a fool. Think nothing of it, friend. Knights are strongest when they work together. Yeah, knight's code. First vow. Always help a person in need. Knock him down, shovel knight. Sweet. More money. My guy's obsessed with wealth. He's a knight who's in it to help the people, but also himself. And he's not sorry about it. Because getting yours is what uh, America's all about. Let's get some i here. Hello. Alright. Full health, yes. Is in 10 seconds of invulnerability better than full health? I like having the variety. I'm going to get it, but... I think one of these might be better than the other, honestly. I guess if we start failing at levels, we'll figure we'll quickly figure out what we what we need. Okay, whoops, I didn't mean to go back in there. Let's leave. Okay, that guy's moving around again. Back to the village. Hello, villagers! Remember me when I was but a puny new guy? Now I'm all beefed out. I, w I wonder if you could just go downstairs and play that, uh, like, game to get more money over and over and over again. Uh, might as well go do it once. Just curious. Because we seem to get more money every time we play it. Um, so, like, in theory, you could get an infinite amount of money. And then couldn't you just buy all the upgrades? So, if you wanted to, like, grind away at this, oh, if you were actually good at it. That worked out in my advantage. We got two reds. Oh yeah, look at that. The uh, the fireball or whatever on the ground. Forgot that we even had that ability. There we go, there we go, there we go. Look at that. It's kind of cool. There we go, there we go. Keep juggling these. There we go. I can't aim these, by the way. Um, oh damn it! I used. Uh, oh no! I used. I used my magical icor by accident. You got 190 points. Yawn. Well, color me impressed. You're back already? No, no, no. I don't wanna. I don't wanna do it again. I think I made like 300 gold. You'd have to you'd have to farm that for a long time. But yeah, look at this look at that sweet attack. That will come in handy. I just have to remember that I have that ability. Okay, let's uh meal ticket. Sell me one. Yes. Cost as much as armor, by the way. It's an expensive meal, man. $6,000 worth of tacos. Sounds like an awesome meal actually. Ooh, it's a steak. Perfect. Uh, you want more relics? Maximum magic. Hit me. I'm here. Might as well do it. All right, we have 60 magical points. Seems good. Wait, how much is more meal? Figure that out. Wait. Uh, I'm all out. Oh, interesting. Oh, we can still buy more of those, though. Okay. So there's no more meals that we can get in town. We've almost farmed out all the upgrades we can get from this town. That's good to know, actually. I'm just going to step on this. I love seeing her in pain. <laughs> hey, we got another scroll just for funsies. Okay. Um, I think the next... Oh, we need uh, we need to get our i back because we totally accidentally drank the invincibility one in a bonus game. Who does that? Uh, invincibility. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna equip our um, phase in and out of reality thing. 
our phasing stone. That actually is like the most effective ability. Having ranged attacks and stuff is like semi useful, I guess. But being able to not take damage is very useful. Um, should we fight this guy? Let's do it. Hall of Champions. Um, arg! I can't believe this. Trouble friend, have you lost your way? Bought the best gear, the slickest armor, the strongest rope. Er, pardon? Are you in need of help? Those stuck-up order of the no-quarter clowns have no idea what they're missing. Hey, you look like a knight. Shovel knight, at your service. But I'm not in league with... So I heard, if I beat a knight, you get to take their title, right? Please don't do something you'll regret. I don't want to beat a great Baz knight. Like the sound of that? They'll have no choice but to accept me. So this is a wannabe villain. Let's do this. Hey, he's got a lasso, too. That's cool. Okay, we'll just keep bouncing on you. Oh, and he, like, swings around. That's some cool abilities, dude. Cool abilities indeed. Ow. Oh, God. I'm totally going to have to use my eye cores to beat this guy. Oh, maybe not. Okay, come on. Drop down. You know you want to. Oh, God. He summons the power of lightning. He, he turned night into day. Um, okay, hold on. Switch to this. And there we go. I forgot to keep phasing in and out of reality. No. Sucker. I uh, am actually invincible, in case you didn't notice. It's not OP. It's just an ability I have. I <laughs> shoveled his butt. That was a finishing move. The butt shovel. Alright, we gotta go back for some more I cores. Happens. No way, not even my best moves could phase you. Well fought. Now they'll never let me uh, in the order. Wah! Oh, I can like still shovel more gems out of him. Pay up, buddy. This is, this is a mugging now. Give me everything you got. <laughs> Just gonna bash you in the face with a shovel a few more times and leave. All right. You know, it's good we beat that guy before he actually became a villain. Hall of Champions. What is this? Hello. Where am I? This is the Hall of Champions, living monument to the founders of this great land. A mission f uh, for one, that'll be 5,000. What? I guess so. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't afford admission. Oh. Oh, yeah. I guess I don't have enough money. All right. Well, we'll come back later. 5,000. What could that possibly give you? I wonder. Knuckler's Quarry. Okay, we're gonna go get our I Core real quick. What was it? Health that we used? Aid me. Give me health. Good drink. I think they're, she's giving me like a small amount of like blood. I'm drinking the blood of my enemies. That's the red. That or it's like a really delicious wine. Now let's check out Knuckler's Quarry here. What up, buddy? There's no way to punch through. I wish I could just dash through this all this dirt. Hmm. If I could, I would do that. But I don't have a way of doing that. Okay, so there's some kind of, like, dash attack that we need. We don't have yet. Probably, like, an air dash. Okay. Well... I will be back at a later date with an ability that will get me in there. And I got one gold. Are you sure? Yes. Um, all right. Now we got a choice. The Lost City or the Iron Whale. Hey, that's like the Bioshock bad guy. Let's do the Iron Whale. Justice in spades. Ta-da! Let me just break these bubbles. Oh, you just stand on them and they evaporate. Okay. So you jump extra high in water. I like it. I'm not a fan of water levels typically. Water and ice levels are kind of like the bane of all gamers' existences. But, uh, oh, look at that. That is totally cool. But uh, when they have kind of cool mechanics, like jumping high is a mechanic I don't mind being in the water. Bounce. I love that shell. That is cool, too. What is happening with these? Oh, God, ow. 
Uh, we're not at full health anymore. We can't do our little uh, Legend of Zelda attack. Ugh. Let's do this. I gotta get dig oh, look! The stuff comes up in bubbles. It's so cool. Interesting. I love those sort of when, when levels feel unique like that. It's cool. I want to. I want to kill a bad guy with this shell. Is that a thing I can do? No. Ow! Oh god! There we go. Damn it! Wanted to attack up, but you can't do that. Um. Go! Get him! Yeah! Oh, you actually can't hurt him. Yeah, oh, we knocked him down. Yeah, there you go. That's what you get for trying to mess with us. wonder if we can get the shell over here to go. So, like, see that area above? I kind of want to use the shell. Yes, to do that. Exactly. Yeah, secret time, baby. I like games that have secrets like this because... If you're not very good at the game, oops, you don't have to get the secrets, and so it doesn't like, you know, you, you don't miss anything in the, well, I mean, you miss stuff, but it's like you can still play the whole game without getting this stuff, but if you're good enough to get the secrets, then, like, you get access to, like, more money and, like, more cooler abilities, and so it's sort of like, you know, it, to each, it, it's like the communist version of gaming, to each, each according to their ability. If you have the ability to get some of these uh, harder to notice secrets, then you actually um, get a benefit. But if you don't, whatever, you just don't, you don't get those things and you can still play the game and enjoy it. I, I like that. Also it makes you feel good to find the secrets. It feels like you're, you know, a better gamer, like you're better at the game, which obviously is true for me, but look at all those gems. That was sweet. Oh my god, they're doing more things with the homing enemies. Um, should we break this? I have confidence in us. Let's get some more money. It's like a, another thousand bucks. Oh god. Okay, there we go. I guess it was ballsy to... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it was ballsy to break... Uh, break the checkpoint when there was like a new mechanic clearly and I didn't know what it was. But, okay. You know what? We've got our phasing thing. Let's just use that liberally. Make sure that we don't die here. Dying is what we want to not happen. Yeah! So satisfying to get like a big pile of the money. Big pile of the money. Oh, what is this guy? Dead is what he is. Oh, I think we have to jump on those guys. Or not. There's a platform right here. Boom. Okay, that worked. <laughs> not what I was trying to do. So the interesting thing with this game is you can't attack up. Up and attack actually uses your, like, special magic. Which keeps tripping me up because... Oh, shoot! Sometimes I want to attack up. Oh, no! And I broke the checkpoint, didn't I? Oh, I... Damn it, back to the beginning of the game. Oh no. We don't need a checkpoint. Damn it, I'm an idiot. God. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, none of this stuff is gonna give us uh, gems or anything. Because we've done all this crap. So the only money left to find is the money that I died near. Oh, way to go, Jay. Of course I would do that. Of course I would do that. Man, the like shocking thing doesn't work on like platform levels. When the enemies, uh, you know, when the enemies are on different platforms, the like ability to shoot shock waves really doesn't do anything for you. Since these enemies are not gonna give me any treasure though, I guess I can just skip them. There's no point in really fighting them. Oh god, damn it, there goes my perfect health. Use this thing. No stupid mistakes. Alright, here's the checkpoint that we threw away. 
Because we did not think we needed it. They missed last words. Okay, let's use this so we can just jump as high as we want. Left thing, left thing. Alright, we're good. This was a round where we died. Keep using this. I think they, like, the magic that they drop regenerates, but the gems don't. Alright, there's where we died. We weren't actually that far. Not that big of a deal. Just not die again right here. We need to get our gems. Alright. Good. Oh my god. That thing almost killed us again. I hate sea creatures, but I love apples. Mm -mm. See, this is the attack. Doesn't do very good on platforms. You need like long, flat areas of ground. Like right here. It serves me not at all. Okay. God, this is tense actually. Oh my God. Kill that thing. And go! Woo! Sweaty palms. I could use a checkpoint. Okay, so how do I want to do this? Do that. And do that. Oh, I missed those. I think I will use that. Oh, shh! Damn it! Oh, back to the beginning again! Son of a beach. You know what sucks is like, I was just about to use my invincibility thing again. And I was like, ah, oh, but you know, I, I thought I had like a fraction of a second longer than I did. Damn it. All right, let's see how fast we can get back to where we, we died. Oh God. Let's try and not take any damage too. Because this is our third time through this part of the game. Surely, surely we got this now. Oh my god. Get out of here. Oh. Just die already. Oh my god. That actually saved me. Go away. Why am I fighting that guy? Just wasting my magic and my, uh, my life. Wasting my life, guys. Sucker. Forget about fighting you guys. There's that checkpoint I said I did not need. Funny how things work out in life. We got this guy. That guy. Alright. Just run past this guy, because who cares? <laughs> We're not going to give him the honor of a, of a fight. Gonna be like, hey, come back and fight me! Be like, see ya. Let's just get out of here. Oh my god, almost died on the spikes. Let's get out of here! Run! Oh wait, there was a secret there. Oh, I can't go back up. Damn it. I just noticed one of the walls was destructible up there. Okay, here we go. Point. go. Alright. Here. Here. We can get that. Get that. Okay, I can just poke this guy in the face. What I can do is just run for it. Yes. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, man. Use the magic. Checkpoint! We're not breaking that one. We need that checkpoint. Oh man, do we need that checkpoint. Hey, we're totally underwater here. I kind of forgot because it's like a dark cavern. It's kind of cool. Alright, down we go. 
So this is gonna be awesome or trouble. Oh, it's a boss. Oh, his antenna is a thingy. Can we damage him? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm just continually bouncing off of him. Is this how you're supposed to do this part of the level? I don't know. I'm just trying to stay alive, guys. Okay, I think now we fight him. Ah! His weak spot has been revealed. Oh! Okay. There we go. Didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Oh, God. Ow. <laughs> We're just taking the hits. I'm pretty sure we can just tank mode our way through this boss. Oh, phase, yes! That's how you avoid the the, the damage. <laughs> the, 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 the damage. Yes, give us something good. Ah, heals alive! I haven't uh, had a ride like that in ages. I think I'm gonna be sick. Anyway, I'm about to drop another great deal on you. You want to see? Yes. An unstoppable arc of destruction. I'll buy, I guess. Unstoppable arc of destruction to crush foes above and below. Sweet. Thanks, bud. Let's try it out. Okay, that sucked. It's just basically throwing, uh, throwing a thingy. Like, look. I mean, I guess it kills guys, but I kind of like being able to phase in and out of reality. I like surviving. Oh, maybe actually needed here though. Um, wait, Let's do this. Oh, you can wait. You can hit those things up. You can attack on ladders. I'm learning so much. Oh god. Okay. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Our magic. Imagine I went and destroyed that checkpoint right now. Would you guys be pissed? You'd be like, Jay, what are you doing? Oh, shoot. Okay. Jump over here. There we go. All the gems are like flying off screen. Give me some gems. Okay. This. Worth it. Kill this guy so that there's no threats to us. There we go. I had my, my hand ready to activate the uh, invincibility thing in case we screwed up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see how this works. So you stay in here and go, whoa! That's pretty cool. Off we go. Ow! I didn't know those could hurt us. Oh my god! Ah, damn it. I even knew we were gonna fall on a level that had spikes, and I was like, I should use the thing to help regenerate me. I was just too slow. Too old and slow to make it happen, guys. Alright. Huh. How long have we been playing this game for, by the way? Oh my god, two hours. Two hours. Well, as you guys know from my other, uh, my other PJs and indie games videos, I am taking my time with these games. I'm playing them at my own pace, just having some fun with them. And that often means these are really long videos. Um, as per all the other videos, I'm kind of curious who's still watching at this point. Um, I kind of feel like if these videos all end up getting like 10 views each, I'll just sort of shrug and say, well, you know, I was playing the games for me, so 10 people enjoyed them. But uh, yeah, I'm really curious if we're going to get a bunch of people watching them or not. A bunch for my channels like, you know, oh, damn it. Oh, God. That is actually quite hard. Timing things with those rocket platforms. Okay. Ow. Oh, God. Okay. Here we go. Jeez. Didn't get all the gems, but I was just trying to like... Oh man, that actually worked out super well for me. There we go. i to wait for, to, for him to want to attack me. There we go. There we go. 
So, one, two, three, this. Get all these sweet gems. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious if anyone is, like, still watching this. <laughs> you know what, if it's just me, and like my, my, my one or two most loyal fans, whatever. We had, I think it's still a successful uh, holiday special, in my opinion. Okay, we are going to keep that checkpoint too. I wish I knew you could destroy checkpoints in the easier levels, because I probably would have done it to get more money. But, like now, maybe you need that sort of throwing ability to fight this guy. Like this. There we go. That, that was actually worth it. So I guess the uh, the anchor thingy has some uses. Okay. So what you have to do is like trigger each one with the next one. And go here, and here, and here, here, and into secret territory! Oh, we'll just do that, I guess. Oh, I'm, I'm digging treasure out right in front of the guy. I don't care about if he sees me do it or not. I'm just wasting magic. It's the MO of my life. There we go. Worth it! Alright. Boink. Ugh. Forget about fighting him. He's not, he, honestly, he's not really worth it. I got more gems by uh, skipping him and going to the other screen than I ever would have got fighting him. Ooh, fresh dinner. Oh, you can, you can kill those things. Oh, only temporarily though. Okay, yeah, they're like, uh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yes. Um, the rock bug guys over here. They are pretty immune to everything. I missed this attack. I've barely gotten to see it in this level because I've sucked so bad. Okay. How about we do this? Oh, you can't do that. Oh my god. I didn't have the confidence to just ride it out. Oh my god! Whew. We even accident accidentally threw an axe at the end, but it didn't matter. We're not destroying this checkpoint either. In fact, I don't even think you can destroy this one. Oh, you can! Forget it! That was... Just kidding, game! I didn't really want to destroy it! Alright, the Bioshock guy. My gems, my vessel, my ocean! Your very presence tarnishes. Uh, you are to lay claim to the sea itself. Your greed knows no bounds, treasure knight! Your hands are no less dirty. Even now, others are paying for your avarice. Let us duel. Winner take all. Okay, but if I lose, I'm coming back to kill you. Um, ow. Okay. Just gotta figure out what his attack moves are. Ow. There we go. There we go. Ow. Stand still, damn it. There we go. I don't even think I would uh, need to use any of my Icors to beat this guy. He is kind of sucking. Is this the best you can do? <laughs> wow. Super easy boss. I was kind of afraid of the Water World boss. Thought he would actually be a little challenging, but I uh, guess I'm just too awesome, guys. So, I kind of want to get that power-up armor or whatever that allows me to, um... I want the one where, like, if I land on a guy twice, then I do, like, a charged shot or something on him. I think that's what we might go for. And we will also dig up our fire. It's, it's really satisfying in these games to watch your character become more advanced and get better and better moves. Okay. So I have 9,000. Should I spend 5,000 on the Hall of Champions? Damn it. Okay, let's do it because I think I'll get some money and then I can buy the armor anyway. Uh, let's do it. Wonderful, clear and discerning patron of the arts. Enjoy your visit. Hope I have a permanent membership for 5,000 bucks. Do I have to kill somebody to be part of this club? 
Hello! Act, this place is haunted. There are ghosts roaming the halls, and we're all trapped here. That includes you, haha. So, are you going to do something about it? Why are you laughing? I'm here to save you, buddy. Why would you laugh? He's like, oh, we're all doomed, even you! Ah, ha, ha, joke's on you! By the way, can you save us, please? Please help us. Well, I guess I have to help you. Don't I? Can also just steal all the gems in this place. One at a time. What does that magic ball do? Okay. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, that kills the ghosts! I see. Interesting. Wait, must is over here. Bounce off of this. I can't get it to go high enough. I want to kill that ghost. Um, I've become lost. Can't believe I saved up all my money for this. I've learned during my travels that ghosts hate light. Do you know too? Okay. Let's go down here. And over here. So that's okay. So that's where I went. I wish there was a map in this game. Yeah. Okay. So that's the original room. So let's go to the right here. Okay. Boom! You're dead! Again, I'm like the uh, medieval Ghostbuster. Anyone else want some? And uh, just go ahead and do this! Kaboom! Give me your gems. Your sweet, sweet gems. Oh. Another ghost, another ghost, another gem. Come get yours. Oh, we've cleared out the room. Okay, we gotta go back and clear the other rooms then. I get it. Are these the pictures of like the developers of the game, I wonder? Cause like, look, some of those guys have like nerdy looking glasses. Like look, look at these guys in the top row up over here. Like that guy right there in the middle row. I just wasted magic. That totally looks like a, a computer programmer. All right, so we gotta kill all these ghosts with magic glowing balls. All right, come with me, ghosties. One at a time. There's no need. No need to rush. Oh, I don't have a. I don't have a ball though. Okay, well this room's screwed. <laughs> There's like a thousand ghosts in there. I can't kill them. Um, but this one should be easy. Gotta wait for this guy. Oh, God, this is gonna take forever. Get over here so I can kill you. Thank you. And... Same, same deal over here. Right, there's a ghost, yeah. All right, come over here, bud. Trust me, this is for your own good! Okay. Well, I, I cleared the ghosts I saw. I, I don't know what to tell you. If there's other ghosts... Damn it. I can't see them. Okay, here's a ghost. Oh, what the? Invisible platforms, eh? No, come back! Come back! Yeah, there's that guy over there, too. So, we'll start with this guy. Then... I kind of want this to go back. Oh, no. Okay, well, that screws our plan. Oh, there's a ball over here. Aw, oh, damn it. You're kidding me. Okay. They even got the, like, annoying invisible platforms from, uh, like, Simon's Quest in this game. This game, as I said, was inspired by Castlevania 3. Um... Ugh. Made him invisible again. Oh my god. My, my power-up is like working against me. Okay, here's what I can do. I'll just uh, do the down attack. There we go. Alright, we cleared out this room. We're getting there. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, and then this room clears up too? No, this room was already cleared. Okay, so we've got... 
most of the rooms clear now, don't we? What are we missing? We are missing this one. How do we do this one? Oh. There's secrets! Oh. Damn it. Ow. Ugh. Oh, so annoying. I don't have full turkey. Don't need it, but... Okay, where... Okay, whatever. Good enough. Uh, oh, great! You blew my secret hiding spot! Now the ghost will get us both. Well... I mean, help me, and maybe we can maybe we can kill the ghosts, lady. There are also are no ghosts in here. Also, I stole your money, so get over it. Okay, what are we missing here? Oh. Oh, ow. Okay, so we were missing a, a secret ghost. Boom! Cleared that room too. All right, we are almost home free. Then there's just one more room. You know what's funny? Now that I've been hit and I don't do that slash attack on the ground, it's probably easier to kill the ghosts. Because what you don't want are the ghosts to... There we go. What you don't want are the ghosts to get phased out of reality. You want them to get killed by the ball. Like, I just phased that guy. That was a mistake. You want this to happen to him instead, or this! Yes, this is actually pretty cool. This mechanic. Any, any other ghosts? Want eternal rest? Eternal peace? I'm offering it one time only. Come and get yours! Send you to the afterlife with a smile and a sandwich. Boom! Two for one! Alright, did we uh, successfully... Oh, now we gotta fight a ghost boss. All the ghosts are teaming up into Mega Ghost. Okay. I'm right here, bud. If you want me? Come and get some. You know what's gonna happen to you. It's gonna be a face full of light ball. Ow. Okay. Oh my god. I can't hit him. There we go. Oh my god. This guy's actually formidable. He's hitting me a lot. Yes. There we go. I'm just gonna keep hitting these balls and kind of hang around them. It's the only way to stay safe. I'm protected by their energies. Uh-oh. Keep them together. There you go. In a confined space, the ball launches more, more actively. Ugh. Oh, what? How did those miss him? So we're at, like, perfect alignment with him. Hey, look, my balls have become fused together. Okay. God. He only has two hits left. Uh, to be totally honest, I'm not even aiming these balls. I'm just trying to continually keep them in the air and not get hit by things myself. That's all I'm trying to do. Confined space! Okay, hold on. Let's totally use our Icor of life because we're totally not dying for this guy. Yeah, there we go! Yeah, oh, we phased out of reality one last time to show him that we can be a ghost, too. It's like the ultimate insult. See, we ended up making more money there than we... It cost 5000 to get in, but we made a bunch of money, so totally worth it. Thank you so much for saving us from the ghost menace. How thoughtless of me not telling you the place was haunted. Then again, that's the risk you run paying for something in advance before you know the details. <laughs> Is that a dig at, like, pre-ordering games? Or, like, maybe the fact that this game was kickstarted? It's kind of like a joke on itself. Please allow me to reward your gallant bravery. Sweet! Mo money! Mo money! Shovel Knight's gonna get his. 
Okay, ooh, and a gem level appeared. We're gonna be rolling in the cash. Okay, and then you go like this. I like that. Do this again. Oops. I keep phasing by accident. I'm glad I don't have something else equipped. Now what? I guess we go down? Gone down the other way. Right. Nice. Ooh, we want that chest. The chests are where like all the the gems are. You can miss little gems here and there, but you don't want to miss the chests. And you also don't want to miss piles of dirt. Yes, look at it all. Oh, so satisfying. Ah, we missed one. That's okay. Do, 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 do. I didn't plan this, but it looks like it's going to work out. Don't you love it when that happens? When you look more sophisticated than you actually are. We're gonna, never going to make that one. We'll just take damage. Nice when you look like you've planned things out, but it was just totally luck. Oh my god, there's so much money. 20,000. Yes. Yas. Okay, let's go get our I-Core before we forget about it. Because I could totally see that being something I do. I just forget to get a fresh I-Core. We're going to go with Life. Life has been doing pretty good for us. The Invincibility one, I think, actually we will abandon because 10 seconds of invincibility, like we survive way longer than 10 seconds with a full health bar. So it's not like we need, um, you know, like 10 seconds is a lot for us. It might've been when we first started out, but now it's actually like not a lot at all. Okay, I think what we can do is, like I don't care about this, but being able to charge my shot, I think that would be kind of fun. So now we've got both abilities. Kaboom! Yeah, look at that. That is neat. This is totally Legend of Zelda. You can like shoot your weapon and do a charged attack. All right, now this, what was the armor we wanted? Flashy, useless. That's not what we want. From two consecutive shovel drops, unleash a charge slash. I think we do, we'll do that. Um, drop half as much gold when you fall in battle. I don't care about that. Struck by enemies, but stopping may be a problem. See, I don't like that there's disadvantages. So let's go with this. Two powerful drops to do a slash. Okay. Ooh, and now, now we have become the Silver Knight. I kind of liked him when he was blue, but whatever. Um, all right. Well, I'm pretty sure that's all we can buy in town there. And in our original town, I think we can buy like more magic. Honestly, maybe that is worth it. I was gonna say, I don't think we need that, but who knows? Maybe it is worth it, and we should get money from uh, this guy. What is this girl saying? Ooh, you've got a pretty face. You should come visit often. Still hitting on me. There's like a, a lady in every town who wants to get with the Shovel Knight. Thanks for buying meal tickets. I'm all out now. Um, I wish you had more, bud. wonder if this guy will just give me a free meal. Uh, bring a meal ticket. Nah, he's not into freebies. Um, sure, give me that. And... Why not? Might as well max our character out. Okay, we can't afford any more. It's okay. Our guy is getting so beefy. I keep thinking, like, we've been playing this long time, maybe we should just wrap up, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, I want to keep going. Like, our guy's getting powerful. Um, I feel like if it is two hours in and you're still watching, you're in it for the long haul, so... Um, oh, I didn't want to watch her dance, though. <laughs> I guess we're kind of committed to this. We'll let this play out. Um, one thing I didn't say about this game is that it is, uh, has been ported to many systems. So I think it originally came out for PC and Xbox, maybe? And then later on PlayStation systems, the Nintendo Switch, and obviously the Wii U, which we're playing on. Um, apparently the... PC and PlayStation versions have an exclusive fight with Kratos, 
you know, Kratos from the God of War games, and the Xbox and some PC versions. I might have had that wrong. I think it's just PlayStation has God of War. I think PC and Xbox, you have a fight with the Battletoads, which is kind of hilarious. Um, the Wii U version didn't really have anything too special. It had a co-op mode that uh, you could unlock uh, by... What, you needed a Shovel Knight Amiibo, which, like, yeah, right. Like, I don't know. I, I'm sure some of you guys out there have Amiibos and like them, but I just found the concept kind of, like, annoying. <laughs> I don't want little plastic figurines. And then to lock off certain gameplay elements, I have to buy a figurine to have it. Like, just give me the option to just buy the DLC, you know. I don't want the junk in my house, frankly. Um, I don't know. Some people liked the Amigos. Sure, if you like it, that's fine. Um, but it was just not for me. And we have lost our ability to shoot our power already. Ah. Interesting. So you can, like, build up the charge shots. Okay. Boom. Come on, you want some? Boom! Oh, well, it even, like, gets kind of behind you and stuff, too. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this. Yeah, but where do I go now? I'm, like, afraid to go down this pit because it's going to kill me. You know what? If it kills me, I guess we're right at the beginning. Yep. And we only lost, like, 50 gold, so who cares? Oh, actually, like, 500 gold. So I do care. Can't kill that guy. I'm guessing we're supposed to go down there. Can we get our gold back? We kind of can't. Oh, you can't uh, attack those guys from above. Okay, so I have a charge built up. hey -oh! oh! We totally missed that guy. Alright, whatever. I feel like this is going to be a dangerous level for us. I can't even get this gold. Oh, I can get that one, but that's it. Like, those other two are lost. What is that sparkle down there? I really want to know. Um, anyway, yeah, Amiibos. I don't know. Did, you, did any of you guys own Amiibos? Like, did you like them? Um, the only Amiibo I ever owned came with my copy of uh, Mario Maker, uh, the first Mario Maker, because I bought the Wii U that came with Mario Maker. That's when I finally bought a Wii U. I didn't get one at launch. And uh, um, that that Amiibo actually unlocked a giant uh, oversized Mario mushroom in the game. So it also had functional abilities. And like I liked that the version of the game I, I had had that ability. Because, like, here's my thing is, like, I just want I just want every ability in a game, you know? Like, I don't like feeling like I have an incomplete copy of the game, and I don't necessarily want to buy, like, little plastic figurines just to make sure that I have all the features of a game. I should just have the features. Or if you're going to sell them to me, at least just sell it to me. And, you know, whatever. It is what it is. You sold me a DLC pack. I wish we, we didn't have to do that, but, you know, the world is all about DLC packs these days, so... Um, but apparently that co-op mode, I think, was eventually ported to all the different versions of uh, Shovel Knight. Um, so there you go. I think there was something else uh, that was exclusive to the Wii U. Oh, the Miiverse. That's right. The Miiverse, which obviously is totally uh, defunct now. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, I didn't plan that correctly. I almost died there. Yikes. Uh, but yeah, the, the Shovel Knight used to connect to the Miiverse. But obviously, you know, that's, that's not really a thing anymore. Since it's all been retired. So there you go, if you own it on Wii like I, like I did. And uh, you're missing features. The Miiverse will never come back. I wonder if someday people will figure out how to, like, hack the Miiverse in. The same way that they did for, uh, like, Dark Souls or whatever. Ow. You jerk. Can I jump on him? I cannot. Hey. I'm on the other side of him. hi -yo! Oh, what the? Can I just... <laughs> it's like, why can't I damage this guy? You're not allowed to hit him in the butt. He has advanced butt-protecting armor. Okay, we are through destroying those checkpoints. Oh my god, a mole! There was a mole in that one. Can I land on these guys? Okay, you can, but you can't kill them. Good to know, though, either way. 
good to experiment with things right after a checkpoint, just so that you know how the game's gonna work. Oh god. Die. Man, I have not been at full health for a very long time. Yeah! Oh, you can't kill those guys, though. See, we're learning even more good stuff. Oh, oh. Okay, this guy's more aggressive. And his, uh... And his more more brown colored versions. I like that the, these night guys are getting like more advanced. I appreciate it. Like every time I fight them, they have like a new trick up their sleeve. It's like they're not just like oh we'll fight him the same way he's defeated a thousand times before. Like they're trying. They're trying to make make changes. They're just not very good at it because I, I keep finding ways to defeat them. But they're trying. Oh that guy that guy's like peace out man. See ya. We'll just let him go. Okay, what do I do here? <laughs> what do I do there? Okay, we lost some money. That guy's dead. Okay, I have an idea for what to do at this part. Okay, we go like this. Let's kill that guy. And now we're not busting things up. Which is, yeah, that's... Oh, shoot. I know exactly what you're supposed to do there. You're supposed to run. Okay. Well, we lost more money. We've actually gone in the hole this time around. I think we've lost like 500 because we kind of screwed that up both times. I understand now what we're doing. Maybe I could have used the uh, phasing thing to uh, survive, but okay, do that. Then, oh, I can I can get all my money though. This. Yes, all right, we're back. Screwed up a little bit, but I have redeemed myself, I think. Okay, so I do want to destroy that one. Interestingly, that's all I want to destroy. Because I don't want to destroy the one I'm standing on. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. This is bouncy gel. Gotcha. Gotcha. I thought it was, like, more lava. Look at that. Totally going for this, too. They have more sparkle stuff. We're going to get some armor that's like, when you see sparkles, jump in there to get a bonus level or something. I swear that's going to be a thing. Oh, hello. This is like the goo from... Uh, oh, and it puts those guys out. Oh, interesting. Wow, the mechanics in this game are ra rather fascinating. Boink. Um, the goo reminds me of in uh, Portal. Oh, and it freezes that. Uh, Portal 2, there was like, uh, you know, the goo. Um, you could like run on walls and run fast. And you could like uh, uh, jump... Bounce, bouncy goo. The goo was just as bouncy, just like in Shovel Knight here. Hmm, how can we do this? Oh, I think I know. All this for a couple of gems. Oh. Well, whatever. Let's just, uh. Oh my god! Woof! I was gonna go back for the red gem, but I was like, ah, forget it, who cares? But I, uh. go. Woo! Goo balls. It's tricky, man. Just get out of here. We don't have time to mess around. I probably missed a secret over there. Um, okay, you can get out of... So I thought once you were doing a down attack, you couldn't get out of it, but you can by doing a side attack. This is tricky, because I couldn't do a down attack on that guy, or I would destroy the whole uh, floor that we were standing on if I missed. Yikes. Every level is its own challenge, guys. Oh, we killed him. Let's uh, get his gems. Damn it, we missed uh, what was in that little uh, dough ball over there. Oh, well. 
Probably just a couple of gems. Oh, let's get this. Go into the secret area over here. Um, okay, we can do this. Just be very liberal with that. Oof. I think there is some kind of, like, air dash attack that I don't have access to. And if we did, oh god. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Damn it! Oh, I lost a thousand bucks there, and that money ain't coming back. There's some attack that we're missing. Yeah, like, there's no way to get that. Shoot. Sucks. Alright. Well, you know what? You win some, you lose some. Let's get this guy going. This giant dung beetle or whatever he is. He just bounces us right here. Yeah. That. Oh my god. Let's do this. We do our. Oh, this is what we want the red gems. Kaboom! Oh god, no! <laughs> Whew! Yikes. The, the phasing in and out of reality power, I activate it sometimes like by total accident, and it is not something that I want to necessarily activate when I activate it. I bet there's a secret in there. Missed it. Right, I'm pretty sure this is the boss. You're out of your depth, Spelunker. Are you lost? These ruins belong to the ages, Mole Knight. They're mine now, but more importantly, is that your digging implement? Ha 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 ha. I'm astonished you made it ten feet down with that rusty trinket. Well, I will bury you. What happens, by the way, if we pause the game? I haven't done that this whole playthrough. Just nothing there. Oh, here are the relics, by the way. This is what I'm seeing on my little, uh, on my gamepad. So, yeah, here, here's the icon and everything. I just touch them on my gamepad. That's how I select different items. But in case you guys were wondering, um, I have not used the flame wand hardly at all in this game. Okay. Oh. Oh, God. We're, what's happening? To, like, time our attacks. Oh. 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 Okay, now what? Oh, he's on fire. Interesting. Ow, he got me. Ah, come on, yes. Ah, damn it. So this boss is all about timings. This is actually pretty cool. He likes, he's like throwing blocks at you and you gotta like destroy them. Oh, he's over there. Can I hurt him? No. When he's on fire, you can't hurt him. This is where the uh, 10 seconds of invincibility is handy. Yes! Got him. Got him. Okay, and... Oh, God. Oh, we can't get him. <laughs> Jerk. All right. Icor of life. Let's actually start using this thing. And reveal yourself. There we go. There we go. He's so low on health. Oh god, jerk. Let's use our uh, invincibility thing. I think I got his butt. No. Yes. Yes. Oh, one more. Oh, come on. Yeah! Oh, a bunch of moles come and take him away. They rescued him. Am I? I'm, I, I, my guy just let that happen. He's cool with it. Unfazed by by it, I guess. And we got a treasure chest. So I guess every time you beat like a, a round of enemies, you unlock like a new ability. We have to catch her. I wonder if you missed her, what would happen? We're not gonna tempt fate to try and find out, but. And boom. Man, look at all these guys. 
There's a lot more enemies here than last time. Lots of gold, though. Oh. Go. Oh, man, did I get her? I think I got her. Yeah, okay. You get the chest either way. Ooh, a taco. Meal tickets. I was hoping for a new ability, frankly. But I guess, you know, I'll take what I can get. I'll take what I can get, sir. And kaboom. We're totally missing some kind of dash ability. Okay. Because you should be able to clear out the quarry here. Like this quarry down here. Like, what are we missing? What did we not do? Is it like, did we just not talk to the right person? Cause no trouble. Um, that guy just wants stuff and stuff. Let's get our meal tickets. Or use it, I guess. We already have one. So, us, what do you got for us? Ooh, a big cheese sandwich. Convenience. Hey. King can rule. I don't care what the witch says. Okay, let's try this bonus level again. Maybe, like, we're just not doing good enough at it. If we get a higher score, maybe she'll be more impressed by us. There we go, 41. Starting off strong. Oh yeah, there you go. There's your high score. Mm, missed that one. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go. Just trying to like hit them towards the center, because I feel like that's how you hit those uh, high score things the most. 260. Oh no, we missed the red one. Oh no, we missed all the ones at the end. Uh, 263 yawn while well, color me impressed. Um, oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well we got one more shot then. Let's try and wow her. Huh. Okay. We are really not doing <laughs> very much better than we did before. Damn it. I'm, I'm hitting everything. I'm just not, like, lining it up correctly. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hitting these. Hitting these. Oh, I won't miss that one. That, that's... Okay, we're doing okay. Sort of. Ah. Oh, we missed the, the red one again. Oh, we phased out reality. 209, we did even worse. All right. No, 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 I don't want to keep doing this. No, why does she keep asking me? 8,000 gold. All right. And I'm pretty sure these guys have nothing of value to sell me. Take a look. Oh my God, dash through dirt, dust knuckles. Yes, I want that. Where were you in the last level? Oh my god, I should have bought that before. Toss a coin for a chance at riches. That's what those sparkles are. I guarantee it. Oh my god, I've been missing out! Two abilities I could have easily purchased. So if you look at my abilities now, like I'm almost rocked out. There's three things that I'm missing. But yeah, dash through dirt. Let's go try that on the quarry mines. Oh, look at this. Oh, what the? Oh, I got catapulted. Huh. Uh, if I adjust the trajectory, I should be able to target the village. Interesting. Wait, where am I? Oh. What, you can do that? Wait, 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 hold on, okay. So there's checkpoints in the villages. Okay, hold on, we need i -Core. We have a scroll to sell, but I'm not in too much of a rush to do that. 
Uh, give me the health icor. I actually want to use up the invincibility icor to get another health one. Because truly, I mean, I have the ability to phase, right? So it's like that's invincibility. So I don't really need more invincibility. What I need is health and magic to continue to phase. I last a lot longer that way. All right. Try this. Ah. Aha! Okay, so we can just sort of punch our way through these things. Yes! That's how you do it. Oh, man, if we had had that in the last level, we wouldn't have died stupidly in that room. We lost like a thousand bucks because of that. Oh, oh! What? Oh my god! Did you see? I, I used it! Oh my god. Okay. Try this again. I guess I should, uh, I like jumped forward. I guess I should just jump in place. Oh my god. It's so annoying. Can I? Oh my god. Can I get this one? Alright, whatever. There we go. There we go. Man, that's kind of like dangerous actually. Ow. So what I don't like is if you're just standing still and you use it, he just punches. But like, I want him to always do a bit of a dash. There we go. All these gems. I could even go for this lower rung, but I feel like it's too risky, forget it. It's not worth it. Um, oh my god, how's this supposed to work? Holy crap, I can't believe that worked. Oof. And I don't want that red gem. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill myself to get it. And that serves nobody. Except death himself. Okay. Go, 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 go. Boink, boink, boink! I really want to find a, uh... Um little glowing pit so I can throw a coin down and prove to you guys that it actually does give us some money. All right. Man, we've been playing for like two, almost three hours. Okay, well, we're, we're going to wrap up soon, I promise you. Shortcut? Ooh, Frightened Flight. This is like probably the second last phase is my guess, and then there's going to be a last phase. Clockwork Tower. Um, okay, let's let's play like one or two more levels and then I, th I think I do have to like call it We've been playing for a long time. Where does this take us? Just somewhere random Oh a new village Wow, mr. Knight nice stick. Come on. Let's play Wait, this is like the villa. This is the village but backwards Isn't it no wait it is the no this is the village I'm confused. Wait, there's a chest up there now? What's happening? Why did I not recognize this? Why did it look weird to me? Okay. Um, and our I cores. We have both I cores loaded up. Weird. I thought that was a trick. I thought we weren't actually in the uh, old village. All right. I like how there's shortcuts because like doing this is too inconvenient. It takes too long to walk all the way over here. Oh my god, this guy. Let's fight this guy again. What's he been up to? Enchantress. With you by our side, Black Knight, total domination is within our grasp. I beg of you, take my words to heart. Your safety is my only concern. She just blew up. Oh, it's because I arrived. Was that Enchantress? Tell me. You haven't tried. Tired of this charade? Stay out of this. You never, uh, you never were one to blindly follow Black Knight, but the order of the Enchantress must be stopped. You're headed down a ruinous path. The only path I seek leads to the Tower of Fate, and I will reach it. Maybe Black Knight is the Knight of Shields or something. One of these characters is his long-lost love. A character doesn't just disappear in a video game and, like, never come back. That is very suspicious. That means they're definitely not dead. can't hit this guy. There we go. There we go. Come on. We've, we've done tit for tat. He's doing the same damage that I am. 
thing is, I have I-Cores that allow me to regenerate. What have you got? Oh wait, I should switch to my uh, invincibility. Thing. Come on, come on, oh yeah, oh yeah. Did a slash attack on him. Oh, he ain't got nothing. Yes. Yes. Oh, I should use my invincibility. Come on. Oh, yeah! And I'm even glowing. Supercharged. Eat it, Dark Knight. We should actually kill him. Like, cut his head off or something. I don't want to get dark on us, but I'm just saying. We keep letting him go, and it keeps not working out for us. Alright, um... Let's do a level. Clockwork Tower... Or the Flying Machine. Propeller Knight... I like the Tinker Knight. Like the Time... Time Knight. Could be interesting. We got conveyor belts. Oh look, and they, they the gems actually go on them. That's fun. Okay, good to, good to know that. I like how the first screen kind of teaches us that. Oh, and there's like a wind-up mice. There you go, get out of here. Just get busted. Blink, blink. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm almost there. I'm, I'm almost there. Oh man, that is his cardio workout for the day. Okay, and they are going to charge. Oh, I knew that was coming too. I even said, okay, he's about to charge, and then I watched it happen. All right, enough screwing around. Let's do this right this time. Stupid wind-up mice. Go away. You annoy me. Ugh. Uh, I think it's because of my, my charge, my uh, attack charged. Yeah, he moves a lot more. Oh my god. Oh my god! He almost did it to us again. He almost got two for one. What a dick. Give us that money. Kill this wizard dude. Um, do we want this? Yeah, we do. And we go. Wah! Oof. All right, here we go. Let's offer a coin. Nothing happened. <laughs> Damn it! Is it costing me money? No. Okay. We're we're not giving up on that. We're gonna try. Going down below and, and trying it again. Okay, I can't attack those. Good to know that, too. I think they're giving us less checkpoints and levels, too, by the way. In case you have noticed. Okay, here we go. Get our coin. Do something! Okay, we wasted all our magic. Nothing happened. What a waste. Um, Alright, I have no idea what those sparkles do. I would love it. Somebody in the comments, please tell me. Just, I'm just, it's eating me up inside. Ow. Okay, I guess I can't get up there. Ow. I'm gonna have to go down, I'm guessing. There we go. Crushed him. Crushed that fool. This. This. Precision platforming. There we go. NES at its finest. Oh, that guy was totally coming for us. We got him. Die. Oh, God, I fell in the pit. Die. Die. You know, sweet gems you're hoarding. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is that? Jesus. Oh, there's another guy up here. Okay, that was pretty easy. Can we go in here? Any 
cool sweet stuff protected in here. Yes. Okay. Just gotta take our time with this room. This is a trap room if ever I saw one. This. Oh god. Just get out of here. <laughs> uh, let's get this thing too. There we go. We got it all. We are the kings. Do some victory shoveling. Hoo, ha, 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 ha. Let's get out of here. Oh, yikes. What is that? What are these? What are these things? Oh, God. Gonna activate that thing. Oh. Activate it again. Nobody needs to die here today. Um, okay, I need to go the other way. Ow. Oh god. Slime. What are those things? Oh god. No, 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 no! Damn it. Oh, I'm so close to dying. Hmm. I was kind of thinking, like, should I use an Icor? But I kind of figured, like, no, I need to save that for the boss. It's stupid to, to use it. Like, like, look how close we are to a, a checkpoint. It would have been stupid to use it. Okay. That's... I don't even know if you can kill those things, but I just took the, the passive route. The route of at least violence. Just die! There. I had a feeling that this was a secret room. Alright. Oh my god, this actually looks tricky! This could be a colossal mistake. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna go for the ones on the spikes. Because I feel like I'm not good enough with the uh, the potion, but I am going to go for these things. Yes, I have all the deals. Yeah, what do you got? Ride over hazards and reach higher places. Ooh, yes. Thank you. Ride over hazards, reach higher places. Hop and hold. Interesting. So like. I can get into that and oh cool sweet all right we have a new ability maybe i am going to oh man should i it just feels like so dangerous no 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 let's not be dumb if i do that i'm just gonna end up losing like a thousand uh gold or whatever so forget it we got the ability that's fine oh god just back off now Oh, you dick. Okay, forget it. See ya. See ya. Can I break this wall now. But I can't eat a delicious turkey. Oh my god, how am I gonna do this? Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. Oh, you can destroy those things. Yes. Yeah, this is actually like way too tricky. Oh my god, oh my god! No! Damn it. Oh, I should have used the invincibility power up. Okay, we gotta get that equipped. This guy. Yeah, he's dead. Good. All right. Next, skip this guy's fight, or just kill him very rapidly, one or the other. He's always fine, frankly. And I don't know if we need the health necessarily. Might be better to just do this quickly. Shoot! Damn it again! 
Oh no. Oh no. This is that's the first time that we've died without recovering our money. Shh, that sucks. We just totally lost a thousand bucks. Uh oh well, looks like the party's over. We're finally hitting like harder levels. Problem is these stupid flying jet knives. They're like totally cramping my style. Okay, I can get past that pretty easily. Get out of here. Go away, I don't want to fight you. I mean you no harm. Gentile knights, sir. Oh my god. Oh, that saved me. Holy crap. I didn't even think of the fact that you could sort of pause your fall temporarily. Okay, whatever. We lost 2,000. Um, can we make this jump? Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, that's like quicksand. That's cool. We do that. Which way do we want to go? Which way looks more like a puzzle room? Let's try going up. I, I kind of like that, that, uh, these quicksandy things. Okay, this is totally a puzzle room. Let's, uh, break out this thing. Do this. Blink. Throw another one there. Yeah. And throw another one. Oh! Oh no! Oh god. We lost. Oh my god, okay, forget it. We're actually going negative on this. I think we're gonna leave this level with less money than we earned during it. So I think we need to like cut our losses and just focus on uh, passing the level at this stage. Otherwise, we are never gonna make it. Whoa. It's kind of cool, like a moving room. Do I want to fight those guys? I feel like not re Oh god, they're they're coming for the fight no matter what we want. I see how this works. Oh, yes. I need some of that money to offset my losses. There's like an investment gone wrong this level. Um, all right. Come and fight me then, dude. There we go. One pink gem. He ate it or something, and I killed him and dug it out of his intestines. Oof. I wish that after you got a checkpoint, you could go back and destroy your previous one. But I guess that's like cheating. That's, you know. I mean, that, that defeats the whole point of the risk-reward of should you destroy a checkpoint or keep it. Um, Alright. I wonder where we want to go. I just threw a thingy. Yes, kill these guys, you fools. Let's pick, um, let's pick the air punch thing. That could actually help us kind of get through some of this stuff, maybe. Potentially. Ah. Ah. Oh, the air punching, like, only lets you like move forward if you actually are punching something. It doesn't just generally dash you forward. There we go. It's actually a little tricky. Um, okay. I swear this should do something, but I guess not. Guess I'm a fool, I'm just a dreamer. Okay. Gems. I think this was the right way to go for secrets. Okay, we wait a long time for this thing. All right, we got the musical thing. That's 500 bones in the bank. Ow. Pretty sure we don't need a charge shot. Oh god, just... Okay, maybe we did. Actually, my life is, like, almost out. Yeah, no chances. I need to find, like, a good place to die. A place where I can, like, easily get back 
uh, to my money. Oh my god, the screen is scrolling. <laughs> I was like, oh, this part's not so bad. Didn't even notice I was about to die from just standing still for too long. Oh my god. Okay. Keep jumping. Everything's gonna be okay. Dig it! I, oh, oh man, the the one shot dig would have been handy there. Go, 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 go! I already made it. Whew. Is there any cool like secrets over here? Nothing there. All right, whatever. Go, go, go! That's pretty cool. Oh wait, oh, I, I knew it. Huh. Okay, hold on, we can uh, throw a magical thingy. We can go higher, yes! Whew, that thing was totally worth it too, okay. Get our phasing on, so this is the boss. Oh, he's like a, he looks like Casey Jones. Tinker Knight, ah, did I make all that noise? I can't think straight, I have so much work to do. Just work on letting me pass, little friend. Oh, big words, Tin Man, I'll show you a thing or two. Um, is this for real? <laughs> is this really the boss? Get back here. Oh my god, he's actually like slightly tricky. <laughs> there we go. Okay, he's totally gonna turn into a second form, right? This is just a joke. Okay, I think we're wasting a lot of health on his first form here. There's no way that, uh... Ah, yeah. Charge shot. There's no way that this is it. Or is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was like, there, there can't be. That, that's not possible. Here's the real Tinker Bot. It's like a Dr. Wily fight in Mega Man. Oh my, oh my god. Okay, now I'm scared. How do we fight this thing? Oh, interesting. Awesome. Platforming in a boss. The boss itself is a platform that you have to survive. You just continue to do this. Oh, there we go, there we go. As long as we can stay on top of him, we're good. He can't do nothing. Oh, we missed it. Oh, well, that's okay. This boss is great. Reminds me of, uh, like a Contra boss, like in Contra 3, there was like that one boss, it was like the airship or whatever that you were fighting, and, uh, oh my god, we're getting low on health. You kind of had to, like, jump from missile to missile. It was at the end of the motorcycle level, and so there was a lot of sort of platforming in the boss. Damn, that was a cool, satisfying boss. I love it. And we did come out ahead financially, even though we... We lost a lot in this level. Like 3,000 bucks. <laughs> Whatever, let's try not to think about it. In fact, considering this video is like three hours long, uh, I think we, we probably need to wrap it up. Uh, so it probably doesn't really matter how much money we lost. But let's just, uh, for completeness sake, take up all our money. I may come back to this game sometime, sometime and finish it. Because uh, I really do like it. But, uh, you know. I mean, three hours. I can't ask you guys to spend your whole day here. I wonder what this guy... What we have to do here. What dangerous cliffs? Uh, planning to go farther? You better learn how to fly. Hmm, I wish I could. I wonder. Is there a way to learn how to fly? Okay, we gotta fight this guy. I just want to go see if the guy in town in, in town's gonna sell me something that will let me fly. Cause that'd be a pretty cool ability to end on, I think. But uh, yeah, so you know, Shovel Knight here is one of the games, uh, as I've already said, that I long wanted to play. And so in my holiday special that you guys have been watching, the PJs and indie games, we've just been going through, going through all these great indie games, uh, playing them, 
um, enjoying them, and I'm happy that you guys have stuck around. I mean, again, if you are hearing this, you are one of the good ones who made it all the way to the end. So something I did today intrigued you. Um, and I like to think it was my sparkling personality, but it might have been, might have had something to do with the game as well. Maybe a combination. You know, my personality plus the game. That's really the, the that would be the secret sauce that would, you know, make everything awesome. Uh, boom, boom. And I know there's a pit somewhere around there. I was just pausing for the lightning to see where. Okay, that's safe. You stay back, skeleton man. I have no quarrel with you, man skeleton. Hmm. I'll tell you what. I'm not gonna. I don't wanna jump on a platform when there's a guy waiting to knock me off. I've died too much recently for that to be acceptable. Oh my god, a giant skeleton. Oh no! Oh no. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. High core of invincibility. Then we're going to jump on this guy because we leave no witnesses even giant skeletons need to die most of the gems fell right off the cliff there but some did not oh my god he's still alive okay let's just skip him because he's already died he's already felt our wrath all right we kind of passed the level sort of we passed it sufficiently Oh my god, another thing spawned. Um, maybe that's how we get the power of flight. So I'm so fascinated. I'm like, we need to wrap up, but I'm like, I must keep playing. So this is what happened when you were a kid. Your mom was like, you know, time for supper. And you're like, just five more minutes, mom. And it's like, no, you need to have supper and then do your chores. I'm tired of this five more minutes. And you're like, come on, just, 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 just five more minutes. And then like 40 minutes later, an hour later, you're still playing. Um... Uh, you bought all the relics I had on hand. All right, so there's we're really only there's only two relics left And we still don't know what the uh, Sparkling uh, We still don't know what the sparkling uh, Pits do still haven't figured that part out uh, But you do have the power to fly eventually. I guess that is another relic you get and then who knows what the last one is Maybe some kind of like freezing wand or something um, let's go down here. Okay, we're oh we're on top of the airship. Interesting. See, I don't want that. I don't want to be able to dig things up in one go. It's fun to dig. Oh, we can switch once you own an armor, you can switch between it. Interesting. Maybe the gold armor is what lets you jump down those sparkly pits. Who knows? Anyway, I guess we'll never find out. Or if we come back and finish the game one day, we will. Um, all right. Let's just fight this guy. This one last guy. Frigid Flight. Oh. No, wait. Well, we're fighting a guy in a grassy field. Let's equip our relics here. What magic is this? Power, honor, the traits of a respectable warrior. Sir, I don't believe we... Everyone thinks Shovel Knight is a bad guy. Um, there must be some, some kind of thing. Enchantress is like polluting people against him. Today we fight. Stand aside. I have no reason to battle. Conflict is a reason unto itself, brave knight. Today you'll be tested. Um, Alright, this guy wants to duel me. I don't think I can jump on his head. Oh no, I can. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. We're doing more damage to him than he's doing to us. Which is what I like to see. Oh, he's teleporting all over, though. Cheap, unfair man. Stand and take your shovels like a man. Ow. Oh, we need to uh, totally use this. Boom! Oh, we didn't even need to. I'm like having potions in the middle of battle. I turn around, just slash him across the face. Shoveled him into the ground. I've been bested, but barely. You still need training to overcome what lies ahead. Farewell, Shovel Knight. Thanks for nothing, I guess, dude. What? Ten. I got ten gold from killing that guy. What a waste. You accomplished well, Matt. Anyway, I think uh, I think we'll we'll sort of leave it there for today. Again, 
you know, for anyone who's still watching, if you have enjoyed, uh, you know, watching me play Shovel Knight, you want to see the rest of the game, I would love to keep playing it. I mean, if I don't play it on stream, I'll probably play it, uh, play it in my own time at some point. But yeah, this has been the 2019 holiday of PJs and indie games. I hope this brought back fond memories for you guys of being on uh, vacation at school, just loading up a video game and literally playing all day, you know, having nothing to do, just sitting around with your brother, sister, or your friend, or maybe just by yourself, you know, eating chips and chocolates with your, you know, Christmas advent calendars. You guys have those where you like open up and every day eat a new chocolate. You always eat ahead and your parents will get mad at you. Um, but yeah, just sort of eating junk, playing video games, I don't know, fond memories. So I've enjoyed this sort of throwback experience of sitting in my PJs and playing video games for hours and hours on end. But, uh, yeah, anyway, beyond that, I hope you guys are having a good holidays. I hope you have a great holidays. I, of course, will have more videos coming out in the next few days leading up to New Year's. The 1001 series is on hold until the New Year's, but, uh, I'll be playing some other retro games in the meantime. We're going to go back to playing retro for a while. Um, get back to the core of the channel, but hopefully these indie games, hopefully you guys like the little diversion, um, and I selected a handful of indie games that, although modern, really do have that old school charm, um, because I certainly found that they did, so, yeah. Anyway, until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and, uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for keeping me company. Peace.